Yo, I'm alive. Again? Ain't no way. I'll turn on face cam on early. Yo. Okay. So, this is part two of today's stream. I wanted it in Super Vods because I love the gimmick of doing a challenge run and the board is just, and the bot is just really short. So, since I now have five hours more free time than I thought I would because I beat the Mario Wonder level, I thought it was going to be more difficult than it was. But it turns out I just had to sit down for 30 minutes and commit. Actually, it took me less than 30 minutes to beat it, so... Anyway, I clipped it. That, that's what I was doing in the 15 so minutes. I was clipping it and then reposting it because I was like, dude, that was crazy. So today we're going to be doing another chapter of Detective Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> okay, so last time we left off, Pikachu got jailed. He was a criminal. So today we're starting Memories of the Bamboo Forest. Tim and Pikachu found a photo in Butler's office that suggests Unita's is targeting Jessica. So they make their way to Bamboo Burrow to check on her. And that's where we start today. Also, thank you for the follow! Plus one! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? Thank you! My voice is still, like, messed up from yesterday. Because yesterday we did five hours straight of Pikachu, and then I streamed with Emmy for almost two hours. Um, so my throat is kind of not there, but you know what? I'm doing it for the fans. Head out when you're ready. Let's talk to Mom real quick. Right. It was quite startling when Pikachu fainted last night. I suppose it's understandable considering he was being held at the police station, but the same thing happened during dinner the other day too. I think the two of you may be pushing yourselves a bit too hard. Why don't you take today to rest? I wish we could, but there's still a lot to investigate. Pichu Pikachu's raring to go too. Hmm. Why don't you take it easy until lunch then? Thanks, but we're already getting a late start. We're... we've really gotta head out. Of course you do. Sorry. We'll see you later. Just like your father. Yes? How did you like the coffee I made? Well, uh, let me see. Oh, you made that coffee? Thanks, Sophia. Tim's too she nice. Had her heart set on making coffee for Pikachu and was practicing it all day. You were pretty worried about him, huh? Well, of course I was worried. Pikachu is family. Thanks, Sophia. That was the best coffee I've ever had. Was it really, though, or did it taste like dirt? Yep. Oh, was the coffee good, Pikachu? It tasted fantastic, Sophia. I mean, how could it not? After you made it just for me. <laughs> I think Pikachu really appreciated that, Sophia. Let's watch the... Propaganda. <laughs> Let's check out the news before we head out. They're doing a report on the case involving Butler. Already? This is GNN News. Dude, who leaked? Yesterday, Will Butler, chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau, was arrested for kidnapping Pokemon. While Mr. Butler has largely Train admitted the, the charges, he has also suggested that he had an accomplice. The Rhyme City Police He's a are now searching for any Pokemon that are still missing. In a statement, Mayor Myers said he is taking this incident very seriously and that the organization will undergo a complete reform. Mayor's got his work cut out for him. Clean enough after that piece of work. Well, he did create the PPB. Hmm. Hopefully this means the PPB will stop detaining innocent Pokemon now. 
Probably, yeah. But that still leaves Unidas, the organization Butler was working with. Not to mention those cube devices. I think it'll be a while till we can solve those mysteries. Until then, we have to do what we can to stop Anitas from causing any more harm. My thoughts exactly. I- I'ma head out. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Pikachu. Right. Pikachu? <laughs> Memories of the Bamboo Forest. Wow. The Bamboo Burrow. Hey. All right, Tim. Let's go find Jessica. Yeah. We need to make sure that Unita's organization isn't after her. Guess we don't have time for much sightseeing while we're here. Jessica should be working at the pizzeria. Well, let's go there first to see if she's around. Right. Oh. It's a tourist map for Bamboo Borough. Looks like this neighborhood is laid out in a straight line. That makes it easy for us to navigate. Judging by the map, we're at the far right end of the neighborhood. Yeah. We won't get lost as long as we stay on the street. Yeah, there's only one street in town. How? <laughs> this would be very difficult to get lost. Oh, those are some pretty flowers. Make sure you take your pills, Grandpa. Blossom, dancer in full bloom. Some? You're playing a game with that old man. <laughs> Sounds fun. Dude. Stop trolling the old man. Let him be. I've never seen this Pokemon before. Vicaboat. Lamp bows between its massive mandibles. Ooh, it looks scary. You know what it looks like? <laughs> it, looks... it looks like the metal tool they use for pap spears. <laughs> but scary! Vicka, Vicka. And looks really angry. I think they're fighting. Heracross throws foes with his hefty horn. Okay, in anime, Heracross is my favorite. I like the episode when he's just eating sap. Heracross. It looks threatening. Let's stay out of its way. Think about his partner. Oh, what do I do? He won't listen to me at all. Seems like something's up. Is anything wrong? As you can see, my Vicavolt is about to start a fight with Heracross. Vicka Vicka. Hera. You're right. A fight's about to break out at any moment. Actually, I've heard that these two Pokemon have a history of being rivals. I was on a walk with Vicavolt. And then he bumped into Heracross. And that's when he lost his temper, huh? I wonder if there's some way we could stop them. They're powerful Pokemon, so it'd be tough to stop them with brute force. Let's find a Pokemon that can help calm him down. Vioplume to put them both to sleep. And yes, they forever slumber. <laughs> Okay, Alolan Meowth is ugly, I'm sorry. Cancel me. Yeah. Meowth. Oh, Galarian. Oopsie. Savage Vagabond. Meowth. This is a uh, Meowth, right? Yeah, it's a Steel-type Meowth. I take it you're not from around these parts, Meowth. Where'd you come from, buddy? Meowth. What? You're friends with Dramanitan and ICQ? Oh, yeah, from the ruins. You mean from the- you mean the Darmanitan and Ice Cube from the ruins? What are you doing here all by yourself? Yeah. So your friends got captured and you followed them, only to lose track of them along the way. Meow, 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 meow. You like it here because Jessica feeds you. 
and there are others you can test your strength against. Your hobbies are eating and battling, huh? I hope we can help this Meowth see Darmanitan and its friends. They should still be at the Sutherland Ruins with Gordon. You must want to see Darmanitan and the gang, huh, Meowth? Meowth. You do, eh? Then let me tell you how to get to the Southern Ruins. Meow, meow. You don't want to go until you've battled and defeated the strongest Pokemon in the Bamboo Forest? Meow, 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 meow. But you haven't won yet, so you want to beat that Pokemon before you leave. Uh, let's be careful, Pikachu. Sounds like there's a really strong Pokemon out there. Man, everybody here is just itching for a fight. They all want drama. Herbal Remedy Shop Clerk. Hi there. Can I interest you in some herbal medicine? Please buy as much as you'd like. Excuse me. Interesting. Um, what kind of medicine do you have? Oh, you know, all sorts. That's descriptive. I'm just looking after the shop while the owner's away. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure that's something to laugh about. The owner's quite enthusiastic about herbal medicine. He's always disappearing to go look for ingredients. He'll pop out. He'll pop out, then suddenly show up again with piles of roots and empty insect shells. When he couldn't enter the bamboo forest a couple years back, he ended up fighting. When he couldn't enter the bamboo forest a couple years back, he ended up finding another good spot to collect ingredients. Turns out that spot's got different ingredients than the bamboo forest. He's been popping over there ever since. I see. You know. I thought the owner was being kind of careless with his business at first, but it sounds like he actually knows what he's doing. This shop would go out of business without the owner's hard work. I'm more than happy just to hold down the fort. <laughs> they seem like a great pair. Excuse me? Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Unusual? Huh. Hmm. Well, our supply of herbal medicine has gotten pretty low. So I've been wondering whether it'll last until the owner gets back. I see. I hope he comes back soon. Me too. It'd be a shame if he came back to a shuttered shop. <laughs> She's too happy. How is she so carefree? That's what I'm saying. Excuse me. Oh, oops. Misclick. Hello, sir. Charcoal Shop Apprentice. Hey there. Here to do some sightseeing. Then I have I got the souvenir for you. Our bamboo charcoal is made from only the finest pieces of bamboo. Trust me, our quality is first class. <laughs> first class, eh? That's a bold statement. We'd love to hear more about this neighborhood and about bamboo charcoal too, if you don't mind. No problem at all. Can't tell you how much about the neighborhood, I'm afraid, but I could talk a year off about bamboo cart charcoal. I guess we may as well listen to his charcoal spiel. As I'm sure you're well aware, Bamboo Borough was famous for its bamboo. By harnessing that abundant natural resource, bamboo charcoal was born. Our bamboo charcoal is crafted by a charcoal master with 60 years of experience. He pours his heart and soul into every piece. Huh? Wow, 60 years? I know, right? I've learned a ton by working with him. He's so dedicated to his craft, but I guess he'd have to but I guess he'd have to be to do this for 80 years. Yeah. 80 years is a long time to do anything. Wait. Hold on. Didn't he just say 60 years? I highly recommend our bamboo charcoal as a souvenir. I think he's scamming. I think he's just selling basic coal. You know, he should partner with Santa. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Huh. Strange question, stranger. Nothing comes to mind, though. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Guess nothing strange has been going on. Strange that nothing strange has happened. Souvenir shop owner. Well, welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Let me see. Ooh, I love souvenirs. Let's take a look, Tim. 
You never know, we might learn something useful. Huh, I feel like I've seen you somewhere. You hear that, Tim? People recognize us here, too. I got it. You two are detectives, right? Close. I'm not just a detective, though. I'm a great detective. I've got just the thing for a couple of sleuths. I'd love to take a look. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, too? Hey, isn't that hat... He's selling ripoffs. Or he's just a fan. It looks just like mine. Excellent choice. That detective hat is very popular with kids. Why don't we get one for Sophia as a souvenir? I think that might be a bit too small for her. You're probably right. Too bad. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? First time I caught you live, I love your TikToks. Thank you! Also, thank you for following and thank you for waiting the 10 minutes to chat. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Um, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Feel free chat alert, whatever makes you happy. But thank you for coming over. We have so many TikTok frogs, and I love it. <clears throat> okay. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Huh, well, I've been seeing some new faces recently. Interesting. What sort of new faces, exactly? Why, hip youngsters like yourself, of course. I bet they'll hear about all the rare souvenirs we carry. You can't find goods like this in the city, you know. Huh. He's a dedicated salesman. No kidding. Seems like no one is suspicious. No kidding. Seems like no one suspicious has come by, at least. You can call me Taro? Oh, that's so cute. I love Taro. Like the food, not the cards. Taro cards scare me. Cider? Hi, hi, hi! <laughs> what is that voice acting? Psyduck, it, it's vacant stare. I missed it. His vacant stare entrances you. I got my tarot card read once and it scared me for like a week. Dude, dude, I, I'm never doing it. I like, I'm not superstitious, but I don't want to do it because I'm too scared of if it like is real. I just, I just don't. I don't mess with magic. I've never done a Ouija board. Psyduck? Hey, Psyduck. What are you doing here? Psy. What's it saying, Pikachu? Psyduck's partner is conducting interviews around here. Ooh, another detective? She's doing a special report on local restaurants, so she's looking for good places to eat. It's asking if we know of any good places. We only just got here, so I'm not really sure. My number one recommendation is the pizzeria right there. Their oven fresh bamboo charcoal pizzas out of this world. That sounds... Gross. I don't like bamboo. I've had it, like, with sugar. I've had it, like, just raw. I don't... I don't... I can't do it. The curry place over there is good, too. They put tomato berries in their curry, so it's super spicy, but it goes well with coffee. You say that you, like you've eaten at all these places, Pikachu. Huh? Yeah. Well, I guess you're right. I wonder why. Anyway, you said your partner's doing interviews for a special report. Is she a reporter? Side. Oh, okay, you're a report- Oh, okay, your partner's a reporter for GNN. Side. Well then, Sada, tell your partner we say hello. Sai, Sai, Sai. Who's my favorite Pokemon? Tim, over here. What do you want, Pikachu? I like Eevee because I'm basic. No, I love Skitty. Skitty is my favorite. Over here. I liked the Skitty sequences that May had in the anime. Quit playing dumb. We've got evidence that proves you're the culprit. Oh, what? 
Yeah, did I scare you, Tim? I felt like practicing my interrogating. Okay, you're the one who got locked up, Pikachu. Not me. Jeez. Some. It's a blossom. Don't you think it's looking a little antsy? Some, some. Huh. Are you worried about something? What's wrong? Apparently it's part of a group of Blossom that put on dance performances here. But it's almost showtime and the other two Blossom haven't arrived yet. Well then, shall we go look for them? Right on, Tim. I knew you'd ask that. Alright, Blossom, we'll help you out. Some, some. Okay, I saw one at the very entrance of this town. Skid used to be your partner in Pokemon Go? Wait, you can choose partner Pokemon in Pokemon Go? Oh wait, yes you can. Dude, I haven't played Pokemon Go in like... High school. Dude, six years? <laughs> Some? Oh, Blossom. There you are. Your friends are waiting for you at the usual spot. Some? It lost track of time playing with that old man. They're waiting for you, so hurry on over there. Some, some. Okay, plus one. What is the old man gonna do now? <laughs> this place, this place is bustling. He used to be obsessed with Pokemon Go. Dude, my mom, she literally bought a second phone so she could like play on an alt account. That way she could have, like, more items in-game for Pokemon Go. Like, it was a problem. <laughs> and then she stopped, thankfully. Ooh, when will the dancing start? Oh, this is an Alolan Meowth. Ooh, Meowth. Alolan form. Prince Charming. Meowth. Is this a Meowth? It looks a little different. It's an Alolan Meowth. You don't see one of them every day. Supposedly, they're prideful and crafty. Meow, meow. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to offend. Meow. What's that? There's something you need help with. Meow. Meow, meow. It says it lost its brooch while playing in the baboon forest. And it's demanding that we go look for it. Hey, we don't have time for that. Go look for it yourself. Meow. Meow. It's saying the bamboo forest feels off today. So it doesn't want to go in there. That's your problem, not ours. Hey now, let's try to help it. How about we look for the brooch if we have some spare time? Huh. I guess that's fine. Meow. The brooch is apparently real shiny. If we see anything that matches that description, let's get a closer look. Is it bad that I can't tell the difference between, like, real and fake gold? To me, it's all the same. Ladies, if you ever want to get me jewelry, I literally can't tell. Just give me the cheap shit. Oh, that's- Dude, that's my first wear of the whole day. That's crazy. I haven't sworn. I'm getting better. Ooh, the pizza shop. I don't want to do that yet. You're still hungry? Dino always opens with a chomp. Okay, this guy's ugly. I hate the newer Pokemon. Dino? This Pokemon is hanging out near the restaurants. That's it. I finally made a stream. Let's go! Hi, Totoro. Can we get some yo's? It's been a hot minute, but I'm glad you're here. Hello. shop employee. Oh, welcome to the hottest curry spot in Bamboo Burrow. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> Scovent. First in line to taste test. Okay, that would be me. Honestly, me. My spirit animal. Scovo. It's a Scovent. What's wrong? Scovo. What? 
You're tired of eating curry every day? Looks like its partner is the owner of the curry place. Squaw! It says it likes the super spicy curry they make with tomato berries, but... Squaw it! It keeps saying I want something sweet. Give me something sweet. I wish I could help it out. I wonder if there are any sweet berries nearby. Yeah, if we find one, let's bring it over here. Squaw! There's only bamboo around here, though. Don't get your hopes up too high. Oh, why are they so cute? Cause Squawt is my spirit Pokemon. And I am... Cute? <laughs> Such a stupid pig. Oh, not sure. Gum shoes. Stakes out from morning till bedtime. I can tell you how many Trump comparison memes I've seen of this Pokemon. It's like infinite the amount I've seen online. Editor put one here. <laughs> shoes. Hey, it's Gumshoes, the stakeout Pokemon. It's staring at the curry place very intensely. I wonder what's wrong. Let's ask it. Hey, what are you? Shoes. Whoa, I just wanted to talk. No need to get all aggro. Shoes. Shoes. You're in the middle of a stakeout and can't chat, huh? Maybe there was some kind of incident. Shoes. 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 The people who come out of there always look like they're in pain. There must be something rotten going on in there. Or so it says. They probably look like they're in pain because they ate something spicy. That tracks. It is a curry place after all. Shoes. Shoes. Nah, there's nothing rotten going on in there. They just ate something spicy. Shoes. You look like you... <laughs> what was that? You look like you don't believe me. All right, then. I'll have you try the curry for yourself. Let's go, Tim. I didn't agree to this. Bring curry for gum shoes to taste. Let's get some now. Hi there. Were you looking to buy some curry? Unfortunately, we just sold out. Sorry about that. How can the curry shop be out of curry? That was like a sandwich shop being out of sandwiches. I missed the dialogue. Sorry. Or, lucky for me, I had a lot of customers today. So I'm about to start prepping the curry for this evening. Sounds like it'll be a while before it's ready. But how am I gonna have gum shoes try the curry? Sorry you're disappointed, but there's nothing we can do. I'm just thinking out loud, <laughs> out loud. I'm just thinking out loud, mind you. But a customer was just here, and he bought a lot of curry buns. Personally, I think his eyes were bigger than his stomach. Huh. Maybe he wouldn't mind sharing one with us. What did this person look like? Huh. I would believe he was wearing a green hoodie. Green hoodie. Got it. Thank you. He might still be nearby. Let's go find him. Yeah, we're just gonna cop food from somebody. <laughs> Come on. Donde esta person with the green coat? How dare they? You know, it looks like she's running the shop by herself. Or she's just, you know... A strat is to put, like, the most friendly looking or the most attractive people, like, on front counter. That way they can, like, schmooze and win over the customers. So they probably put her outside and the cooks are, like, slaving away inside. I feel bad. But you know what? How dare they not have the product when I want it? I love consumerism. I, when I want something, I want it now. Ceramic shop clerk. I have got all sorts of ceramics from around the world. Feel free to take a look. What if I just... One like this. <laughs> you know, what if I just let the intrusive thoughts win? Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pikachu. What is this? It's bamboo charcoal. Local charcoal artisans burn bamboo to create it. 
wow, that was a surprisingly thorough answer. Yeah, I guess it was. I wonder if the workshop is in the back. It's possible. I can hear some faint noises. Should we go check? Nah, best not to disturb an artisan at work. Besides, you'd probably hear Jessica's voice as she was back there. Yeah, you're right. You know who else is right? Um, people who follow the channel, because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you do here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. We already got one follower today. Can we hit our goal? Smile. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Green hoodie guy. Harry Bun enthusiast. Um, excuse me. Could you bring me some water? Huh? Are you okay? This smell. This curry bun is so spicy. Hey, you're the one who bought all the curry buns. That's a lot. I heard they're really good, so I bought a whole bunch. But I didn't think they'd be this spicy. Feel free to take some if you'd like. Are you sure? There's no way I can put a dent in these. Huh, <laughs> this is perfect, Tim. We'll take some then, thank you. Let's go bring this to Gumshoes. You know, I don't need to talk to Jessica, sure. I just want to do the side quiz. Shoes. Hey, I brought you some curry. Curry buns, to be precise. Shoes. If you think they smell amazing, just wait till you taste one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't scarf it down all at once. Shoes. Are... Uh, um... Are you okay? It looks like it's gonna breathe fire. Shoes, shoes, shoes! Gumshoes seem to like it. Extreme spiciness and all. Shoes. It says it'll be keeping an even closer eye on the joint. Maybe it's thinking you can have the leftovers. Shoes, shoes. <laughs> I have notifications on, but I still miss streams. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. <laughs> okay, the reason why that could happen is if... Because Twitch has smart notifications, so even if you have notifications on sometimes, it doesn't push it out right away. So sometimes it takes like an hour or two, literally, to like get the notification. So an even safer bet is to follow my Twitter, because I usually tweet like five minutes before I click go live. That way everybody can come into offline chat if they want to. Problem solved. All right, case closed. I suppose so. Town people in games are always so friendly. No one ever be, no one ever talks to anyone random IRL. Dude, I live in a more populous city now, right? And I get so many randoms try to talk to me. And if they look nice, I will respond. Like, if somebody comes up to me, I'll talk to you. Because mainly because I'm too scared on if I ignore them, they'll get, like, mad and then, like, hurt me. So I'd rather just say hi. Really? Yeah. I mean, I take public transit a lot. And a lot of people on transit are either very very friendly or they don't want to talk to you at all maybe i'm just like an approachable person i don't know no say boy <laughs> his name is just boy boy hello there huh, huh? is something wrong um this is the first time we've met right I think so. Why do you ask? You remind me of someone I met a while back who helped an injured Pokemon. I see. We must look similar, huh? Maybe you have a doppelganger, Tim. By the way, can I ask you a few questions? The air here, <laughs> the air here feels really clean, doesn't it? Why do you think that is? I don't know. Why? Because bamboo plants keep the air clean. If you have a bamboo charcoal in your room, it'll keep the air clean there too. 
I guess the bamboo charcoal isn't just used for fuel. Maybe we can give some as souvenirs. Good idea. Let's get some for Pablo and Holiday, too. Mm -hmm. Why are we, like, just interrogating a child? Is that legal everywhere else but the States? I think in order to interrogate a minor, you have to have, like, the parents sign off on it. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Nope. Everything's the same as ever. Just look at Miss J. She's busy like always. Miss J? Who's that? Miss Jessica. She knows a lot about Pokemon. Jessica? Do you know where she is right now? I saw her leave the pizzeria earlier. No, she's not there. I skipped it. Thanks. We'll keep looking around here then. Okay, I thought she was going to be there. Apparently she's not at the pizza place, so I'll go back. Yes. Pizza manager. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Excuse me. Um, thanks. Our pizza dough is infused with bamboo charcoal, giving it an aroma and flavor unlike anything you've tasted. You can see our pizza has real... Pizzazz. You sure have a lot of energy. Good pizza starts with good energy. That's my motto. Come on, let's ask him some questions. I'm actually in the middle of concocting a new type of pizza. It's a mushroom pizza that uses... Tochukazu. I've got a hit on my hands, don't you think? I've got a hit on... Oh... Okay, when I see the word hit, I just think Druggos. <laughs> Tochu Kazu? Is that some type of herbal medicine? That's right. Good guess. The idea popped into my head when I saw Paris. I'm sure people will enjoy a health minded pizza. Excuse I'm me. I'm having lag. Um, tell your dad to plug the internet back in. I know he got angry. Just tell him to plug it back in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just saw your art. It's really cool. Thank you. Um, guys, exclamation shop in chat. New paintings will come out in 2024. I had to take a break. I promise they'll make a comeback. But thank you. I appreciate you. Taro? We're looking for the woman in this photo. We heard she works here. She does, yeah. That's Jessica. She's been working here almost two years now. Why are you looking for her? She's a friend of ours. Ah, uh, gotcha. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy to know you came by. I'm afraid she's not here at the moment, though. I believe she's gone to get bamboo charcoal and other pizza ingredients. That's an important job when you work at a restaurant. That's helpful to know. Thank you. The bamboo charcoal shop is right over there. Why don't you go take a look? Wait, I just was there. Donate and install Jessica. <laughs> oh, Blossom! Pikachu, this Blossom must be one that's making its friend wait. Hey, Blossom, isn't there something you're forgetting? Some? Some! It totally forgot about the performance. You're late. You should go to your meeting spot pronto. Som, som. Okay, I like having Tim and Pikachu together. Because then it, it does a side quest so much quicker. Is that all of them? Yeah, their performance should be starting now. Then let's go watch. Some. Looks like it just started. Som, som. They're thanking us and telling us to enjoy the show. Oh, we will. They look so pretty. Do you think they're flirting with us? <laughs> you know, we need to hook Pikachu up. Tim, get over here. Oh, what Tim? Hey, mind if I join? Oh my God, he is. <laughs> Who are you? What do you think? I'm a natural, huh? 
Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, wait! Where are you going? Yeah, he was shaking his butt. I mean, that would work with me. <laughs> Stop! Why did I say that? I'm kidding! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everything I say on stream is a joke. Nothing should be taken seriously. Wow. Yeah. Slavium. Brings good vibes on ribbon-like feelers. Seal or Sylveon? Seal. Do you need something from Sylveon? Sylveon? Seal. That's it. A Sylveon. What's up, Pikachu? Sylveon can project a calming aura. She should be able to break up Vicavolt in Heracross's fight. Really? Let's ask, then. Would it be right if your Sly Sylveon helped us out? Some Pokemon over there are about to start fighting. Sure. Do you think you can help with that, Sylveon? Sylveon? Leave it to me, she says. I think she's saying she'll help. All right, let's hurry back to those two Pokemon. I wish there was a different color for every character when you talk with them. That would be helpful too. I think that's the, that is a big reason why I try to do different voices when I play it on stream. Because I understand that, yeah, like the dialogue is kind of hard to keep up with and a lot of people listen to story type games. So that way you can kind of like differentiate a little bit. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I can't pause in dialogue. Maybe there is a setting option to change the colors. There probably is. Oh, it's you two. Please help. They can't hold back any longer. Heracross. Vicar. Looks like we made it just in time. Work your magic, Sylveon. Seal. Seal. Hela, Vika. Yes. Hera. Vika. Oh, wow. That Heracross and my Vikivolt have calmed down. Dude. <laughs> my old person voice is so stupid. <laughs> Sylveon can make everyone feel warm and happy. I'd say it worked. Yeah, it really did. Hey, keep it together. So, you're the one to ask that girl for help. You saved the day. Thank you. Oh no, Sylveon and her partner deserve all the credit. Isn't my Sylveon amazing? Sylveon? Yeah, you both did an incredible job. Thank you so much. Seems like our work here is done. No more fighting, all right, you two. Vika? Hera? You meant the photo backgrounds? Oh. They should just put, like, their Vika. Zoom PFPs. Where it's the camera angle, like this. Or, like, a really, really bad low angle. My camera's a high angle right now. <laughs> or, <laughs> or just, like... You know how when you're looking at your phone and it defaults to like front facing and then you get like a million chins? <laughs> oh my god, the Pokemon sound scared me. Paris's partner. I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I could eat there every day, no problem. <laughs> is... is it that good? Oh man, I don't even have the words to describe how good it is. She must be talking about the pizzeria where Jessica works. Let's ask her about it. Right, excuse me. Could we ask you a few questions? 
Of course, if you got questions about pizza, I'm your gal. The pizzeria in this neighborhood is famous among pizza and enthusiasts. Famous, huh? Now I want to try it. We can get some after we finish our investigation. I want some... Dude, pizza sounds so good. I think... Wait, I had pizza the other night. I had the frozen Tostinos. I haven't had, like, takeout pizza in a while. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Let's see. Something strange happened yesterday at the pizzeria. What? At the pizzeria? Tim, if it happened yesterday, that must mean... Yeah. Can you tell me more about what happened? They served me something that wasn't on the menu. Does that mean they consider me a regular now? Wait. That was the strange thing? One thing's for sure, she really loves that pizzeria. Dude, classic normie. That is post mushroom parasites. Para, para. He says his partner is obsessed with pizza. That must be a lot to deal with. <laughs> Why are we interrogating the pears? Hmm. Pettis, Pettis. He says the manager of the pizzeria and the folks at the herbal remedy shop are always glancing at him. I guess they really like him. They're gonna steal Pettis for his mushrooms. I love the Domino's garlic sides. Every single time I've had Domino's, I've literally shit my brains out. <laughs> so I don't order from them anymore. But yeah, their garlic knots are pretty solid. But everything else made me shit myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> the pizza you ordered on stream, guys, if I get 100 gifted subs today, you guys can order me a pizza. But you know what's better? I'm cooking for yourself. Now I want pizza? Do me too. Me too. Hey. Have you witnessed anything unusual lately? Peta peta? Nothing in particular, huh? Well, sorry to bother you. Pizza party one? If we get a full of marble jar, if the class behaves, if the chat room behaves, we'll get a pizza party. In the principal's office. Yes, sir. And I'll make sure to cut two millimeter pizza slices for everyone. It's this lady again. Oh, hi, detective. What a coincidence seeing you here. You weren't by chance following me, were you? Kano. It it's the quiz, Professor. She came all the way here. Oh um, no. We didn't follow you. We just had something important to do here. But now that we have run into each other, does that mean... Yep, that's right. There's only one thing for us to do. I've been here a few times for my research, but it's always exciting. There's all kinds of Pokemon here. Huh. I don't see any way out of this. Okay, here's question number one. Gano? Yeah, what well, Pokemon bites and eat anything it comes across? Eats anything it comes across, huh? Maybe we can find it hanging out somewhere that is food. Great idea. Let's go see. Okay. Let me know when you figure out which Pokemon it is. Pokemon the bite? I bite? No, I don't. <laughs> este? Spoo of it. It wants something sweet. I wonder if we can find a sweet berry around here. Pokemon that bites. This one! When Peace gets rich and orders everyone pizza, yeah, it'll be my Mr. Beast video. I bought a million 
pizzas to feed a million people. <laughs> Dino. Hey, Pikachu. This Pokemon keeps biting everything around it. Then it's gotta be Dino. It bites anything that moves, so be careful. Dino? It says it likes to eat all the food the tourists drop. Huh. That's quite an appetite. Which means... It must be the answer to the quiz professor's question. Yeah. Let's go tell her. Easy. Oh, why, hello, detective. Have you figured out the answer? <laughs> yes, it's Dino, right? That's right. Bravo. Geno. Dino can't see, so they navigate their surroundings by biting everything. Don't get too close to it, or you'll get bit. That's pretty much... They pretty much eat everything, but they'll remember when something's especially tasty. No wonder it hangs out near the restaurants. The pizza and curry there are delicious. I just hope it doesn't get into trouble if it bites a Pokemon. On to question number two. What sharp-eyed Pokemon keeps watch from above for anyone suspicious? Keno. It must have distinctive eyes. I don't think I saw any Pokemon with sharp eyes around here. The Pokemon in question might not be on this street. Let me know when you find the answer. Okay, I think I've talked to everybody here. Let's progress the story. What a huge gate. I wonder if it's... Yep, it's locked. If this gate weren't locked, we could get into the bamboo forest. They're here. We don't want to go forcing our way in, so let's try asking the people in the area for information. I have to talk to everybody again? <laughs> Did someone scream just now? It came from up ahead. Let's go check it out. Finally, some action. Charcoal Shop Master, Artisan in Bamboo Burrow. Meow. 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 Purveyor of shiny things. <sighs> Jessica Miller, are you okay? Oh, don't worry. I've just gone and thrown out my back again. Oh. Jessica! Rachel? Tim? Friends of Jessica, are you? Of course, my back could decide to give out now. Huh? Um, is something wrong? Dude, he's clueless. How can he call himself a detective? This man is obviously in pain. No, no, just sitting with the memory. Sorry for the trouble, Jessica. Please, don't be sorry. Just take it easy. Oh, wish I could at least deliver the bamboo charcoal. But I'm out of stock, sorry to say. In that case, I can go to the kiln and get some charcoal. I was about to go to the bamboo forest to collect some pizza ingredients anyway. Mighty kind of you to offer, but I fear the bamboo charcoal might be too heavy for one person to manage alone. We can help. I'm up for that. What do you think, Jessica? Thanks, you two. That'd be a big help. Much obliged. Sorry to put you both to work after you came all this way to see Jessica. We're happy to help, really. Oh, we'll give it her all. I'm getting pumped up just thinking about it. Meow. Meow, meow. Thanks, Meow. Take care of the boss for me, okay? Meow. The bamboo forest is beyond the gate, right? It was locked earlier. What? That apprentice of mine. Did he lock the gate when he left for the charcoal kiln? Huh. I told him to keep the gate open from morning to evening. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Getting worked up isn't going to help your back. Here. Take this key and be careful out there. We will. Thank you. I will sing a song. After this sequence, I will sing a song just for you. And no, I do not take requests. 
Seems like those people targeting Jessica haven't made it here yet. Yeah, thankfully. Hey, Jessica, how are you doing? You haven't seen anyone suspicious around, have you? I don't think so. Why? Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Come on, let's hurry up and get this done. I love the old man voice. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Okay. Let's sing a song. When was the last time I sang a song? It's been like two weeks almost. Jeez. Y'all are too skimpy with your channel points. If you're new here, you can use your channel points and I will sing a song for you. Here is a playlist to all my other singing clips on YouTube. <clears throat> Dude, my voice, my throat is going to be so broken after today. Really need you near me to keep my mind off the edge. If I wanted to. That's not the song. Better than I know myself. Oh, Ooh, I want to do Miss Mysterious. Rip your voice, yeah. We did Detective Pikachu for five hours yesterday. Because I'm trying to do a chapter every stream. And it broke me. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do Miss Mysterious by Set It Off, guys. If you can put your favorite emote, your favorite animated emote in the chat, that'd be great. I'm going to try to do the final verse. I don't have it memorized yet, so I'm going to look at my phone. Are you guys ready? No, baby, you broke my heart yeah now how do i get closure when you're only ever closed off tell me wait i can't do this part <laughs> tell me who can take your place yeah when these memories are telling me that we were not always Now don't even try To tell me that I should just relax And when I strangled in over the tracks I try to reach, I stretch out my hand but you Turn around instead so many nights of living inside Just to connect with you Now I'm trying hard to win this But we've lost all we can lose Go run for your life And tell me I'm right Well let me know when you're home I said, go run for your life and tell me I'm right. The saying goes, if you love someone, now if you love someone, said if you love someone, let them Okay, I don't know why I went crazy. <laughs> it's been a while since I've sung for you guys. The final verse is so pretty. Um, that was Miss Mysterious by Set It Off. Ooh, Set It Off is gonna have some an independent album coming out soon. I cannot wait. Just another pop calling the kettle black. Slade, slay. <laughs> Thank you. You know what else is a slay? Watching ads, because guys. I'm sorry. I have to run an ad. Because we are an hour into stream. Oh, thank you, Totodo, for redeeming. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Type 1 if you enjoyed the song. Type 2 if you're a hate watcher.
Now we have music. It is time for me to run an ad. Kobobo, do you want a timeout? Do you have any timeouts in my chat? Wait, you got one time. I timed you out for 10 seconds in July. Why? <laughs> so guys, we're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing on the phone. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Or maybe you'll get lucky and get a gifted. Get some water, get a snack. I will see some of you guys in a few. Run the ad. It, it's not running the ad. There it is. Get boomed. Dude, I should not have gone that crazy for this song. I'm not gonna be able to talk tomorrow. <laughs> Peace out to L. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna get a snack. I keep my bin of raisins across the room, that way I have to get up and get it. <laughs> Subathon all over again? Should we do an impromptu subathon? I mean, look at my sub count. I fell off. I got ratioed. The subathon we did in September was really fun, though. So it was my birthday stream. Longer streams are fun. Mainly because the gimmick of being live for that long is fun in my opinion. It might not be like the best content, but it's still like really enjoyable in the moment. Last one. Editor, now you can cut back in. Dude, I think the editor bit is so funny. Because it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me editing this in like a year. <laughs> oh, I'm old. <laughs> yes, Esso. Huh? Why is this Berserk Pokemon sign here? Propaganda. Or it could be why. We dealt with that years ago. No need for this now. Now get rid of it. <laughs> now he's literally that. destroying public property. Pikachu! Pikachu! <laughs> what? Dude, he had an aneurysm. That's not funny. Detective Harry Goodman. Mm, warning. Berserk Pokemon. This is definitely the spot. Excuse me. Yo, sorry, I can explain. Here, it's on the card. Oh, well, thanks. Harry Goodman, you're a detective? Huh? I'm not just a detective. Huh? I'm a great detective. Detective Harry. Oh, it's the pizza manager. Huh. Well, great detective or not, I can't say I've heard of you. <laughs> Wait, what voice should I give Harry? This is the first time we're talking is Harry. Hmm. You know, he kind of looks like Flynn Rider from Tangled. Dude, I had a crush on both of them when I was little. Holy moly. Have to go, but have a great stream. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out today, Tara. We hope to see you again. And thank you for watching the TikTok. I usually stream weekdays at 11. But thank you. Smug? 
Hmm, how would I do that though? Oh wait, it can kind of be like Blue Suit Guy. Where it's like, well, you'd know if you were in the know, you know? <laughs> right, so you're here on official business then. Does something happen to warrant investigation by a great detective? Yup, that incident was with the Berserk Pokemon. What? You came all the way here for that? We reported it to the police, so there's no need to put yourself in danger. Plus, the bamboo forest is closed off right now. Right. Understandably. It would be dangerous if the Berserk Pokemon got into this area. We all came to an agreement that we should keep the gate locked until the police give us permission to reopen it. For now, the boss is holding onto the key. That all makes sense. The safety of everyone in this neighborhood is the top priority. Who's this boss you mentioned? The master of the charcoal shop, and he's also responsible for tending the bamboo forest. Hence why he has the key to the gate. Well, that was all very helpful. Thanks. Sorry to bother you at such a busy time. Your pizzeria must be opening for lunch soon. What? How did you know I run a pizzeria? The flour and the sauce in your clothes are fresh. Plus, I can smell the bamboo charcoal on you. Huh. Guess you really are a great detective. Well, I'm gonna head back right now. I'll stop by your shop later. Hmm. Okay, I think the thing with Harry, I'm pacing it different. Because I have too many voices. <laughs> there have been multiple eyewitness reports of Pokemon going berserk in the city. But I didn't think those same incidents would happen in a peaceful place like this. Seems like something's afoot in Rhyme City. I'll start my investigation by talking to locals. Great detective number 12. Use those legs while investigating. Oh my god, we're playing as Hen Her Harry? Henry? <laughs> Harry Potter? I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I could eat there every day. No problem. Hmm. I've heard their pizza is famous, but eating it every day seems like overkill. Trust me, you'll understand once you try it. All right, I will. I'd love to hear what you think of the pizza. Is this your first time in Bamboo Borough? Hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Isn't it? Between the fantastic air quality and the delicious food, life's pretty good here. The other day I heard crackling noises and a deep roar come from the bamboo forest. It came out of nowhere, and it totally freaked me out. All I could think about was making sure my poor Pettis was safe. <sighs> Guess I'm a detective. <laughs> Wait, sir. Guess I'm a detective myself. I know when someone is stressed. That's good. I think you're just like an empath. Which we love empaths. <clears throat> that must have been scary. Were you hurt? No, I was okay. I heard later that it was a berserk Pokemon making all that noise. The deep roar you mentioned is a helpful piece of information, but it's still difficult to guess what kind of Pokemon it was. The bamboo forest is usually so quiet and serene, but we're not allowed to go in now. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the warning sign about the berserk Pokemon. The folks at the pizzeria got a... The folks at the... <laughs> The folks at the pizzeria get a lot of their ingredients from the bamboo forest. At this rate, they're going to be in trouble. The bamboo forest plays an important role in the lives of the people here. Having it closed off must create some serious problems. And Eevee- Oh my god! My second favorite. Let's see what this sign says. Oh, it's this month's Bamboo News. Attention, due to the appearance of Berserk Pokemon, the Bamboo Forest Stroll is postponed until further notice. This Berserk Pokemon incident has really put a damper on this neighborhood, huh? I'm so bored! Hmm. Hey kiddo, why the long face? I'm not allowed to play in the bamboo forest anymore. Because of the berserk Pokemon, right? Yeah, 
I used to go in there every day, but now it's suddenly too dangerous. I understand your frustration, but I think it's best to play this one safe. You can play somewhere else for the time being, right? Sure, but I just don't go in there to play. I help run errands, too. Is that right? Good for you. Plus, like, I was there first, not the Berserk Pokemon. The Bamboo's Forest always been my spot. I see why you're upset, but... Hey, mister! If you ever see that Berserk Pokemon, tell him to stop, okay? <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. I'll let him know. Is he in an alternate universe? Because that boy is like the same age. Oh wait, his dad went missing two years ago, so it's not that much time he's been gone. Get ready for the old man voice. <laughs> oh! Did you hurt your back? Oh, uh, customer! Sorry you have to see me like this. I promise this month's batch of bamboo charcoal is in much better shape than my back is. Oh no, please stay where you are. I'm, well, take a look at this. Huh, a detective, eh? Not just a detective. Sorry. Sorry, forget the f <laughs> force of habit. Yes, I'm here to investigate the berserk Pokemon. I'd like to take a look around the bamboo forest, if you don't mind. I won't cause any trouble. The gate to the bamboo forest is locked. We can't let any berserk Pokemon into this area. The gate's staying closed. For public safety, you hear? I don't care if you want to investigate. I ain't budging on this. All right, all right. Can I at least ask you a few questions then? Look at you with your detective notebook at all. What do you want to know? Hmm. I heard this area is famous for its bamboo forest and bamboo charcoal. Yep, right you are. Bamboo charcoal's got antibacterial and deodorizing properties, and it can improve the quality of water and soil, too. Wonderful product, really. Just put it in a room and it makes everything better. No wonder it's famous. You have my loyal customers to thank for that. If only I could make more. Do you make the charcoal all by yourself? Pretty much. I reckon I should start looking for an apprentice. Say... You wouldn't happen to know any promising young upstarts who might be interested. Well, I have a son and a daughter, and they sure seem promising to me. I'm not sure they're too interested in a career in making charcoal, though. Yep. Best to let your children choose their own paths in life. Thanks all the same. I'm sure I'll find an apprentice yet. <sighs> Those berserk Pokemon! Reckon it showed up about a week ago. Never seen it myself, but I've heard it making noise and causing all kinds of ruckus. Three days ago, I went to the charcoal kiln and found it wrecked up something fierce. That berserk Pokemon! Might have done it. Interesting. Was there anything else unusual about the area? No. Just the wreck. Just the wrecked kiln. Nothing seemed to be stolen. Tried to clean it up, and that's when I hurt my back. Haven't been back to the bamboo forest since. That's probably for the best. You should take it easy and leave the cleanup to the other folks here. 
Once my back straightened out, I'm getting back to work like you wouldn't believe. I've been making trips to the bamboo forest too, of course. I ain't letting some berserk Pokemon scare me out of running my bamboo charcoal shop. <laughs> I like your spirit. Sounds like I should play that. Sounds like I should play that wretched car. Sounds like I should pay that wrecked charcoal kiln a visit. Now then. So, about the gate. I told you I ain't opening it. Detective or otherwise, no one's allowed in. It's too dangerous. What if you run into the buzzer Pokemon? I ain't opening the gate. And I ain't giving you the key either. Oh, my back. Oh, uh, all right, all right. I hear you. Now then. Huh? What should I do? Now then. Let's get to deducing. Also, it's cute. All the assets with Harry are blue, and he's wearing a blue shirt. And all of. Tim's assets are red because he's wearing a red sweater. Is the dress blue or red? Leave your answer in the comments below. <laughs> I've got to borrow the key to the gate in order to get into the bamboo forest. Problem is, the master of the charcoal shop's got that key, and he's a real stubborn piece of work. He's not just going to give it to me if I tell him I need it for my investigation. No, I need the... No, I need a reason to enter the bamboo forest that'll actually convince him to give me that key. I just need info. Any kind, really. Something to point me in the right direction. Maybe the people around here know something. Okay, at least you don't have to talk to like literally everyone again. Yes. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Harry, it's my absolute pleasure to work to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Good grief. You're um a lot livelier than the last time I saw you. But of course, I'm here at the pizzeria. Good pizza starts with good energy. That's my motto. So how about some pizza for lunch? Sounds great, I love a slice. But before that, can I ask you a few questions? I'm happy to help with your detective work in whatever way I can. You know, if impersonating <laughs> police personnel wasn't illegal, I would pretend to be a detective, go around town, and like interview people just to get the tea. I want the scoop. I feel like that'd be so fun. The Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria is this neighborhood's most delicious attraction. Our pizza is baked to perfection with an aroma to match. Okay. That sounds delicious. I'm sure it goes well with coffee, too. Absolutely. Please try some for yourself. I can picture it now, enjoying a slice of pizza and a steaming cup of coffee while the breeze rolls through the bamboo forest. I see why your pizza shop is so popular. Right? Oh, by the way, this is a pizzeria, not a pizza shop. Is there a difference? Trust me, there is a difference. The day the bamboo forest got closed off, I saw some small Pokemon sumo wrestling. Oh? Sumo wrestling? Now that's a rare sight. Could they have been the same Pokemon that went berserk? No, there's no way. It's not impossible, though. Did you notice anything else? Well, I heard some Pokemon cries and noises, but I never actually saw them. Can't really give you many concrete details, I'm afraid. I see. Thanks. 
Small Pokemon Sumo Wrestling. Huh. Good grief. The closure of the bamboo forest must have caused you a lot of trouble. How are you holding up? Well, I need bamboo charcoal to run my pizzeria. So if the bamboo forest stays closed for too long, I won't be able to make my famous pizza. I hope this gets resolved soon so I can start making charcoal runs again. Me too. I'll do my best to help you out. This guy's new. Now time for a little rest. He's an he's an NPC. Souvenir shop owner. Well, welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Okay. Sure, I'll take a look. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I bet you do great business. I'm quite proud of my selection, yes, though it might not make much a difference soon. Well, why is that? The Berserk Pokemon, of course. I'm worried customers will stop coming here if the situation keeps getting worse. That's bad news for a business in a tourist area. I'm he actually here to investigate the Berserk Pokemon. I'm a detective. Oh, really? Uh, that's a relief. I'd love to help you out with their investigation. Bamboo Burrow is a wonderful place. The people in Pokemon here are ter- I thought it said terrifying. Bamboo Burrow- Bamboo Burrow is a wonderful place. The people and Pokemon here are terrifically kind. Hmm. I wonder if the lush scenery and fresh air have anything to do with that. I'd love to come here one day just to sightsee. Hard to enjoy properly while I'm working a case. Please do. Make sure to stop by here again, too. For sure. The Berserk Pokemon appeared in the Bamboo Forest rather recently. There were crack there were crackling noises coming from the Bamboo Forest. And then I heard a Pokemon go roar. Right after that, some people came running out of the Bamboo Forest. They said they saw a shadow with red eyes going berserk deep in the forest. Hmm. hmm. Deep in the Bamboo Forest, huh? Do you think I can talk to those people? I believe they're all just tourists, so I'm afraid they're long gone. I see. That's too bad. I really wish I could talk to more witnesses about this. I was actually in the Bamboo Forest yesterday to access the storage area. Thankfully, I didn't encounter any berserk Pokemon. But a much of bamboo stalks were broken and the paths were ruined. Ah, it was devastating. I can imagine that wasn't a pleasant sight. Still... I'm glad you're okay. By the way, why did a souvenir shop clerk like you need to go into the forest? The master of the charcoal shop hurt his back three days ago, so I went in to get his supplies for him. Luckily, the storage area was undamaged. It was just the elevator that was broken. Oh, did the berserk Pokemon do that too? No, it happens quite often. The boss always fixes it. Huh, please don't tell the charcoal shop master about the broken elevator. If he finds out, he'll insist that he fix it himself, despite his injured back. Hmm. <laughs> Don't buy the Trader Joe's lip pop. It's making me lick my lips. <laughs> so silly. Dude, I've only gone to Trader Joe's once, and it's my new favorite store, but it's out of my budget, so I can only go, like, once every year. I did get some face lotion, though. Does my, does my skin look better? It feels like more elastic-y. I don't know. Gotcha. My lips are sealed. Huh. Sounds like that elevator is important to the master of the charcoal shop. Okay. Thanks for your help. Leaving already, detective. Surely you need a few more souvenirs. Huh. You're a good salesman, aren't you? I actually... Oh. I actually have just the thing for you. It's a hat. How about one for your kids? Oh, yeah. A kid-sized detective hat. Good call. Great detective tip number 13. Always make sure to look your very best. This would probably fit Sophia's head better than Tim's. Okay. I'll take this. As for Tim, I'll get him this, um, water bottle. Thank you very much. I'll wrap these up for you. Thanks. I hope they like their gifts. 
All right, I better solve this case before Sophia grows out of this fact. <laughs> Time to start deducing. NPC. Oh, welcome. Sorry, but we don't have much in stock right now. Good grief. An herbal remedy shop with no herbal remedies. So, just a shop then. We've sold through most of our inventory. The owner left to get more ingredients, but he's still not back. Guess I caught you at a bad time. Um, not really. I'm just holding down the fort here, so I've got plenty of time to talk. In that case, could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is this your card? Let me see here. A detective? Wow, you don't meet one of those every day. Ask away, I guess. I'll answer whatever I can. I'm pretty bored right now anyway, so this is perfect. Ask me whatever you want. I'm convinced this herbal remedy store is a money laundering scheme. This is the second time they've been out of stock of everything. You know who won't be out of stock? Um, new followers, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat! Wow! <clears throat> if you're looking for herbal remedies, Bamboo Burrow's got you covered. Our medicine will give you immediate relief, guaranteed. If you're feeling unwell, we'll help you quell those bad feelings. Hmm. Sounds interesting. What kind of medicine do you have? Oh, you know, all sorts. Couldn't tell you much about them, though. I'm just here to watch the shop. You sounded like you knew what you were talking about a second ago, but now I'm having second thoughts. Apparently, there was a Pokemon going berserk in the bamboo forest. It caused us all sorts of trouble. I wonder if it was just in a bad mood. Maybe I'll give it some herbal medicine if we run into each other. Good grief. I, I love where your head's at, ma'am, but they'd be pretty dangerous. Better stay clear. Still, I wonder if herbal medicine works on Pokemon too. Of course it does. Herbal medicine is amazing. It can bring relief to just about any ailment. I take some every day, which is why I'm always full of energy. <laughs> well, that's one mystery solved. There are all kinds of ingredients for herbal medicine in the bamboo forest. Plants, mushrooms, and eat and what? Plants, mushrooms, even shed Pokemon skin. Ew. Hmm. The bamboo forest is closed off right now, though. Is that why the owner's away? Yeah, he had to go somewhere far off to find the ingredients he needs. Good guess. Sounds like a hassle. Time to start deducing. I don't want to yet. I want to leave. <laughs> hmm. Oh, whoops. I'd be heading back to Rhyme City if I went that way. I'll continue the investigation here for now. Time to start deducing. Time to start deducing. You should follow. I did and my life got so much better. Mine too. But I can't follow myself, unfortunately. Hmm. Let me think this through. Based on all the info I've gathered, how can I convince the master of the charcoal shop to lend me the key? Tell him I want to investigate the kiln. Offer to repair the elevator. Tell him I want to see the Pokemon Sumo Wrestling. Let's investigate the kill. Hmm. Oh! It's possible that the Berserk Pokemon wrecked the charcoal kill. Telling the charcoal shop master I'm a detective didn't help. And not telling him I want to investigate the kill will convince him to lend me the key either. Hmm. I'll offer to repair it. I see. Dude, I said I'm a detective, not a handyman. He's not gonna believe me. 
Whenever the elevator is on the fritz, the old charcoal shop master will bend over backward to fix it. Which can't be good for that injured back of his. That's why the souvenir shop owner said, more or less. Which goes to show that that elevator is extremely important to him. Maybe if I tell the master of the charcoal shop that I'll fix the elevator, he'll agree to lend me the key. Okay, I'll go negotiate with him. Okay. All right. I'll go see the master of the charcoal shop and convince him to let me borrow the key. I'm sure he'll open up. I'm sure he's open to being convinced. And if he doesn't agree, I'll just hand him a 50. Mm. Hey there, do you have a minute? Oh, it's you again. I'm still not handing over the key. I know. I'm actually here to talk about the elevator in the storage area. I heard it breaks down a lot. Sure does, and I'm the el- Sure does, and I'm always the one who's gotta fix it. Wait, it ain't gone and broke itself again, has it? Keep me in the dark again, will they? Why, I oughta- Oh, my bag. Easy there. They didn't tell you because they all want you to rest. Now, how do you usually fix it? Oh, I just give it a few whacks with some bamboo. It's like playing the drums. Seriously? No wonder the elevator keeps breaking. Your back's never gonna heal if you keep that up. I'll go fix the elevator. An amateur like you wouldn't know the first thing about fixing elevators. Stay out of it. Hey. I might not seem like it, but I'm pretty good with machines. I even fix my own car when it needs work. Is that right? Um, you sure you can fix it? I'll at least do better than hitting it with bamboo. What do you say? Huh. Fine. Take the key. I'd rather suffer my back than you right now anyway. I figure you'll do some investigating while you're in the bamboo forest. You meet with any danger in there, you better run for it. Hear me? Sure thing. Thanks. I'm in. Okay. Get you a man like him. I like somebody who's versatile. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just gotta put the key in here and huh. This gate is surprisingly heavy. Alright. It's open. Huh. It's so quiet here. Not even the slightest sign of Pokemon. Alright. Let's see what I can find. Good grief. Whoa. Didn't expect to find something so soon. Hmm. I'll conduct a thorough investigation of the scene so I can figure out what exactly happened here. The Berserk Pokemon came all the way here, huh? The old Charcoal Master was right to lock the gate. Okay, let's see what I can find. Okay. These footprints paint a clear picture of what went down here. Gotta make sure not to miss anything. Hmm. I see scorches on the ground. A big one and a small one. 
The nearby grass and bamboo don't look burned, though. Doesn't seem like there was a fire. Maybe the scorches were made by an electric type move. Hmm. Pokemon footprints, big ones and small ones. Judging by the depth of the big ones, the Pokemon that planted them must have been heavy. Looks like the bigger footprints keep going straight down this path. As for the smaller footprints, there are a lot of them, strangely enough. Looks like they round the corner up ahead and continue toward a side path. You'd need a lot of force to leave scratch marks that deep. Could they have been made by some kind of machine? No. Maybe a Pokemon's claw. <sighs> broken bamboo stalks. Looks like they all broke at once. Based on the correlation of the cross-sections, this likely happened this morning. Hmm. That's all there is to see here. Time to start. Hmm. Time to start to deducing. deducing. Okay. Okay. I'll start going over the information I've gathered and try to deduce what happened here. What happened in the bamboo forest? A person carrying bamboo charcoal spilled some of it. Bad weather caused lightning. Or Pokemon battled each other. No, it can't be lightning. There were scratches on the fence. I see you. First, the different size set of footprints tell me that there was a big Pokemon and a small Pokemon. Judging by how these footprints were formed, the two definitely encountered each other here. Next, the scorches on the ground. Those were likely caused by a Pokemon using an electric type move. Based on the evidence, some Pokemon definitely got into a scrap with each other. With all that said, if I follow both sets of footprints, I should be able to find the preserved Pokemon. If I follow the footprints of these two Pokemon, I should be able to get some clarity on what went down here. I just hope it'll lead me back to the Berserk Pokemon. Keep going, yes sir? Huh? Is that? Hey! You okay? Oh my god, what is doing? Easy, easy. I'm not gonna try anything. You're protecting your friend, aren't you? Whoa! Uh, sorry, sorry. Do you think Pokemon that kill humans get the death penalty? Anyway, who <laughs> random thought I had? I guess there were two Pokemon that made the smaller footprints. Looks like Pancham's injured too. <coughs> I'm gonna take a look and try not to take off that Pikachu even more while I'm at it. Now then. I won't hurt you. I'm just going to take a look. Hmm. Pikachu is protecting Pancham. It looks pretty worked up. Guess it doesn't like humans. That's right. It would make sense if the scorch marks I saw on the ground earlier were caused by the Pikachu using an electric type move. Pika! Pika! Hmm. 
Pancham looks exhausted, and it's injured too. It must be feeling pretty lousy. Those small footprints I saw earlier must have been Pancham and Pikachu's. They were probably attacked by a big Pokemon. Pancham? Hmm. Seems like it can't move its arms or legs too well. Maybe it's paralyzed. Okay. Okay. I have a good sense of what's going on with these Pokemon now. Hmm. Pancham's low in energy and paralyzed too. It's in worse shape than I thought. Hmm. What can I use to treat Pancham's injury? I must find something if I search around time. I just need to keep looking until I find something. Hang in there, Pancham. Help is on the way. What if I do this? God. Pika, Pika! Pan Cham will be safe with Pikachu. I'll go look for something that can heal it. Dude, I wanted a cutscene where Pikachu just blasts us. Please. Why couldn't they do that for us? Oh wow, I'm able to go a long way. I know you're not a Pokeball. Oh, this area is huge! Oh no. Hmm. This path is also blocked by bamboo. I'll check it out after I help Pancham. Hmm. Hmm. Did something just move? Shift tree, guardian of the bamboo forest. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a shift tree. You scared me, pal. Or maybe I scared it. Shift, shift. Hey, my bad. I'll be careful next time. <laughs> shift tree. Sorry to bug you while you're resting. I'm just here to investigate the area. Scary. Oh, I can't go this way. Jeez. Ditto! Ooh, can I so? Ditto! Or not ditto. <laughs> Diglett. Hmm. What's this hole? Let me see. Looks pretty deep. I used to bug around in holes like this when I was a kid. I remember looking inside them for Diglett's. Hmm. Oh, I can't go in it. Sad. I wonder where I can find medicine. Maybe at the herbal shop? They're probably sold out. No, don't manifest that, please. Ask me whatever you want. Hmm. Could you help me out with something? What's up? We only have herbal medicine here. And that's exactly what I need. There's an injured Pokemon named Pancham that could use some attention. It's very weak, and I think it's paralyzed, too. You know, I think I have just the thing. It should be right here. This heal powder could cure its paralysis. Perfect. Thanks a million. I wanted to give you an energy root too, but I think we're out. Sorry about that. They work wonders for restoring strength. No worries at all. The heal powder on its own will be a huge help. <sighs> so, about that energy root. Do you know where I can find one? I'd like to track one down myself if possible. So I'd appreciate any bits of info you can offer. Um, assuming they aren't trade secrets or something. Sorry, I'm not really supposed to share that kind of stuff. Well, I figured. Guess it was worth a shot. 
The owner's son always goes out to the bamboo forest to collect energy roots. He's got a real knack for finding them, but he won't tell us adults how he does it. The owner just leaves the shop to his son at this point. He won't share his tips with any of the adults, huh? Interesting. Where is he now? He used to collect rocks in the bamboo forest before it was closed off. Now I think he just plays around here. Thanks. I'll go see if I can find him. It's probably that little twerk. This little sucker. Hmm. Hey, kiddo. I heard your dad owns the herbal remedy shop. You visit our shop, huh? Find anything good? Yeah, I got some healing powder. They were out of energy roots, though. Oh, energy roots. There's a trick to finding those. So I've heard. Could you give me some pointers? I really need to find one to help an injured Pokemon. Um, so, you go inside the bamboo forest, right? And then the energy roots are... The energy roots are where? I don't know. Should I really share my secret? It's kind of cool being the only one who can find them. How about this? I'll tell you if you can get me an oval stone. Grief. Really, kid? You're gonna play hardball with me? Huh. Fine. I'll get you an oval stone. Where does one find an oval stone, anyway? Happiny has them. If you see a bush moving in the bamboo forest, sometimes a happiny will come out. A bush in the bamboo forest, huh? Okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled. An oval stone. Back and forth, back and forth. A moving bush. They're all slightly swaying. Oh, this one. <laughs> it's so funny because in games you can tell. Like, see how these are darkly shaded? And this one is like two shades lighter. <laughs> it ruins my immersion when they make things so obviously like not hidden. Hmm. I think I heard something just now. Hi. Happy loves egg-shaped rocks. Pop, pop. It's a happy. The thing you're holding is an oval stone, right? Not an egg. Happy, hop. Oh, you're giving it to me? Thanks. You're one generous Pokemon. Easy plus one. I just stole from a Pokemon. And I have no remorse. Hello, you little twerp. Do you have an oval stone? Hmm. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. Let's consider it a symbol of our friendship. Take good care of it, okay? I will. Thank you. I'll tell you my secret to find energy roots now. Behold! A berry. Yep, a nabba berry. It's Bunnelby's favorite. If you see a hole in the ground, try holding one of these near it. Bunnelby will smell the berry and come out. Once it does, look inside the hole. That's where the energy roots are, huh? All right, I'll give it a shot. Thanks. Good luck, mister. I hope you can help that injured Pokemon. If I'm being honest, the bamboo fence does not look that good. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I don't think bamboo is one of the sturdier materials you can find in the woods.
For building, I mean. Like, it seems like I could kick it and it'll fall down. Back and forth, back and forth. Hmm. A hole in the ground? Is this it? If it works, Bunnelby should come out. Bumpy. Bunnelby, shoveler extraordinaire. Bumpy. Bunnel? Whoa, he has scared me. It popped out before I could even take off the nab of Barry. <laughs> Fun. Hey, hey, don't go shoving your ear in my pocket. What? Fun. You took my nabba berry. Oh, well. Guess it was meant for you anyway. You take that and I'll take a look at this hole. Flush. <laughs> it's pretty deep. Huh? There's something in here. One, two, three. Whoa, look at the shape. This is definitely an energy root. Begin deducing. Okay. Why would I have to deduce this? People literally told me this is what I need to do. And there's only one option. Alright, I found some things that might help. I just gotta evaluate which of them will work best for Panchan. I mean, I could also just choose something at random and see what happens. But Panchan is in pretty rough shape. I probably should an overwhelm with stuff that might not work. I'll choose something I know will make it feel better. By restoring its health and curing its paralysis. Hmm. Yeah, there's no other option. Pancham's low on energy and paralyzed. The obvious answer for treating those two things is an energy root and heal powder. I'll bring them to Pancham right away. Okay. All right. I've got all the medicine I need to heal Pancham. Let's go, team. Team of you, me, and I. You're gonna go swimming? That's kind of cool. I wish I could swim. But thank you for hanging out today, Totodo. It's a pleasure to see you. I hope to see you again. Have a good one. Don't drown. I would be very sad. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I brought you some medicine. Pika. Pika! Nice job keeping Pancham safe, Pikachu. Pika. Oh. Pika. Wait, look. I swear. I'm just trying to help your friend. That's all. Harry sounds a lot like Detective Pikachu's voice actor. Hey there. Sit tight for a second. You'll feel better after you eat this. <laughs> Tastes bad, huh? That's how you know it's working. Dude, Pancham's head is huge. It's like as big as his torso. Seems like you're doing a lot better. I want one. Now, question is, who would do such a thing to pinch him? Ah! Oh, that cry. Hmm. This is your cue to run. Do not run into the face of danger. Just run. A Pokemon roar? Sounds like it came from the far end of the forest. Am I finally gonna meet this berserk Pokemon? Ooh, Kinnis! Far? That far- Is that a far-fetched? It's huge! Hey! 
here is no longer blocked. Oh, it, it's still blocked. Lair. Hoot Hoot arrives exactly on time. It must be this way. Hmm. That Hoot Hoot looked pretty panicked. I bet it saw something terrifying. It probably saw the same thing I'm looking for. The Berserk Pokemon. The Berserk Pokemon must be near where that Hoot Hoot was. I'll investigate this area and figure out how I can get there. Hmm. I'll check out this area and see if I can get through to the other side. Let's see. Hmm. These footprints are the same as the ones I saw by the entrance. It seems safe to assume they were made by the Berserk Pokemon. It'll be difficult to follow these footprints with so many bamboo stalks in the way. Hmm. These bamboo stalks are broken in the same way as the ones by the entrance. The brakes seem pretty fresh too. With so many fallen bamboo stalks blocking the way, I don't think there's any space for me to get through. Okay. I think that's all there is to see here. I'm gonna climb! Now that I'm getting a proper look, this is quite the sight. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much to see here, but you never know till you look. I'll go ahead and investigate. This huge boulder must have broken apart when it fell down here. Now it's more like a cliff face. Hmm. This boulder is pretty tough. I don't think it'll break apart much further. This looks like it used to be a path up the hill, but it's been completely eroded. I'm not sure if this boulder fell naturally or the Berserk Pokemon knocked it loose, but either way, I'm glad no one was hurt. Okay. I think that's all there is to see here. Time to start deducing. Let's get to deducing. After this ad break, because guys, we are two hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Get some water, get a snack. I will see some of you guys in a few. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Begin deducing. Okay. Okay. Time to figure this thing out. How can I reach where who flew from? The cliff. I see. The boulder crashed the path. The boulder crushed the path leading up the hill, but the path should still continue at the top of the hill. If I climb up the boulder, I should be able to get to that path and make my way to the berserk Pokemon. Okay. If I climb up that boulder, I should find a path. Getting back down might be tough, though. Eh, I'll figure that out later. Time to get climbing. <gasps> please, QTE, please. Please, I want a QTE. All we didn't right, get one last then. chapter. Just a little climb. No problem. Oh, come on! Just a bit more to go. Good grief. Huh. It's been a while since I did something like this. I'm definitely out of shape. There's that path. This ought to lead me closer to the Berserk Pokemon. Who are they? And what are they up to? That's the souvenir shop guy, I think. Pika. Hmm? Pika 
Kill him, Who's Pikachu. Oh boy. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Who us? Just gathering bamboo shoots. It sure doesn't look that way. <laughs> All right, I shut him up. Let's go. Not our. Pikachu, this way! What's up? Run for it, Pikachu! Oh, uh, <laughs> Jeez. Come on! Oh, dude, I'm so bad. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Man, Harry's so this strong. Pikachu! Pikachu, wake up! <laughs> Phew, you're awake. Ah, uh, yeah. Tim. Uh, I guess I fell asleep. Hey, Pikachu. This isn't the first time that's happened. Maybe you should get yourself checked out. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I dozed off for a bit. And you're acting like I'm about to keel over or something. That's not what I meant, but... Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway, I just remembered. I've been here before. A long time ago. Huh? What do you mean? Mm hmm What do you remember, Pikachu? I came all the way to Bamboo Burrow after hearing about the Berserk Pokemon. While I was here, I borrowed a gate key from the charcoal shop master. I battled Laron and, uh... Oh, yeah. The bamboo forest is also where Harry and I first met. Takes me back. You borrowed a key and met my dad? Hey, did something happen to Pikachu? He fainted earlier, but now he's acting like nothing's wrong. Um, yeah, he's fine. I think. Who, me? Ha! <laughs> Never been better. I've got a few more questions. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you borrowed a key to the gate? I came to this town because I heard that a Pokemon had gone berserk in the bamboo forest. But I couldn't get into the forest to investigate like I wanted because the gate was locked. The charcoal shop master had the key, but man, was he stubborn. Getting him to lend it to me was no small feat. Why is Pikachu retelling the memories in, like... His perspective, like, first pe person. Wait. Did they, like, put it... Did, did they put his consciousness into, like, Pikachu or something? But he can't remember anything. It is still weird that Pikachu is telling the story, like... I did this, but it was Harry who did that. If that's the ending, that'd be insane. The charcoal shop master had the key, but man, was he stubborn. Getting him to lend it to me was no small feat. You borrowed the key from the charcoal shop master? Yeah, in exchange for a fix in the elevator. I guess you do need a key to open this gate, but... Huh. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I misclicked. Mm -hmm. Did you really battle Alaron last time you were here? Yep. Battled it twice in the bamboo forest. Once when I saved Poncha, and then again when I saved Harry. That Laren did not know when to quit. It just kept coming at us, but I hit it with my electric-type moves. Pikachu used his electric-type moves? Maybe he could still use them back then. Mm -hmm. So, about the first time you met Dad. That was back when I was investigating the bamboo forest. I had found some footprints. Then I crossed a river to get into the bamboo forest and wound up living there for a while. When I saw Harry, I jumped out because I thought he was dangerous. Huh. I get that's where you two met, but... Huh. I'm not quite sure I can make sense of your story. Seems like a lot happened when Pikachu and Dad first met. But some of these pieces aren't quite fitting together. I'll have to organize all this information. Something about Pikachu's story doesn't add up. I wonder if he's mixing up his dreams with reality. He'd probably get mad if I suggested that, though. I've got to clarify some things. Some, I've got to clarify some things with him after he settles down. For now, I'll go over what Pikachu said and try to figure out which part of his story doesn't add up. Begin deducing. Oh. Pikachu's story seems to contradict itself. Let me think this through and figure out which part of his story doesn't add up. Pikachu used his moves. Pikachu entered the forest without opening the gate. Pikachu borrowed the key to the gate. Borrowed the key. Because Harry did that. If I remember correctly, Pikachu said he met Dad in the bamboo forest. Since Pikachu entered the bamboo forest by crossing a river, Dad had to be the one who used the key to open the gate. Maybe he heard that story from Dad, got the details mixed up, and he thinks he's the one who got the key. Are you sure you're alright, Pikachu? Shouldn't you stay behind and get some rest? You worry too much, Tim. Let's help Jessica first, then ask questions later. As long as we stick with Jessica, we'll be able to protect her. As long as we stick with Jessica, we'll be able to protect if those people who are after her decide to show up. Good call. Alright, Pikachu. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why it told me to start deducing. <laughs> well then, let's head inside the bamboo forest. Yes. I want to gather ingredients for our daily specials first. Would that be alright? Yeah, on the hunt for pizza ingredients sounds exciting. Our pizza is made from ingredients found in the bamboo forest. My manager takes the freshness of her product very seriously. Bamboo Burrow is just full of folks who are dedicated to their craft. So, Tim and Pikachu, could you two find me an herb and an egg? Sure thing. Rach and I will go look for mushrooms and... Huh? What's wrong? Look, Rachel. An energy root. And it's big. Oh, why do you sound so excited? Because they're really hard to find. I usually have to ask the herbal remedy shop for them. It's a trap. It's literally a trap! I guess this one pushed... I guess this one got pushed by this boulder and popped out. Could you give me a hand, Rachel? It must be a pretty rare find if Jessica's this fired up about it. In that case, we can go look for the mushrooms, too. Thank you, Tim. Though you might not find any. Not only are they out of season, but mushroom picking is very popular right now. Oh, keep that in mind. Okay, Pikachu? Let's go. So, we just gotta find an herb and egg and some mushrooms, right? A perfect chance for this great detective to flex his searching muscles. Tim, over here! Yes, Pikachu? 
Hey, Tim, I don't know if it's the ambiance or the smell of bamboo, but just being here is making me feel really calm and relaxed. I wonder why. They pump the air with drugs. Okay, I need an egg, herb, and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Huh. Something about this place feels familiar. Did you find something, Pikachu? Eh, it's probably nothing. You sure you're okay, Pikachu? Do you want to rest? Nah, don't worry about me. Looks like there isn't anything for us to find here. It's almost like I've been here before. Ooh, this one's new. Draclok. Its head seems lighter somehow. Drac. Is this Pokemon okay? He looks so sad. It's a Draclok. Something must be bothering it. What's wrong, Draclok? Drac. What? The drip you keep on your head and care for when missing. Did you say on its head? Yeah. Draclo carry Pokemon called Dreepy around on their heads. Where did Dreepy go missing? Drac. Inside the bamboo forest. Huh? Drac. Of course. We'll let you know if we find Dreepy. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I know this is a Pokemon, but we'll still talk to him. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pikachu. This thing looks awfully familiar. What is it? Fungus. Fungus. Watch out for its spores. Whoa. Oh, it's a fungus. <laughs> I think we've got a fungus among us. <laughs> Get it? What's with that look, Jim? Blurring out whatever... Blurting out whatever pops into my head is how I keep my mind sharp as a tack. Really? You think having no filter keeps your mind sharp? You know, if you just loosened up a bit, you'd be that you'd be that much closer to being a great detective like me. Food. Look, now you've gone and confused it. Sorry, sorry, okay. Fungus, let's chat. Foon foon. Hey! We're looking for mushrooms. Any idea where we could find some? Food. Oh. Mushrooms are in short blocks. Oh. Mushrooms are in short supply this time of year. Food, food. But its friends Pettis might know where to get some. Pettis? Okay, thanks. We'll go ask it. Dude, back and forth. Fungus. <laughs> it says it sees Jessica all the time, and she always been kind to the Pokemon around here. Sounds like Fungus thinks very highly of her. Oh, hello, sir. Pokemon Researcher. Hey, you two. Got a minute? Huh? Um, can I help you? Oh, sorry if I startled you. I'm a Pokemon Researcher. There's supposedly a very rare Pokemon that lives in this bamboo forest. I've been walking around searching for it for so long that my legs are starting to go numb, and I still can't seem to find it. What sort of rare Pokemon? A Dunsparce. At the mere sight of a human, it digs a hole as quickly as a cannon burrows itself away. Doesn't sound too fond of humans. Maybe it's shy. If you ever come across a Dunsparce, please let me know. I'd give anything to see it for myself. Sure. We'll let you know if we spot one. Thanks. Hope you'll be back with some good news. Mm -hmm. This bus... <laughs> this bush looks like it's swaying, which means there must be a Pokemon inside. Shift. It's a shift tree. I knew they lived in wooded areas, but I didn't know that includes bamboo forests. It looks like the shift tree is holding something. Let's see what it has to say. Hey, shift tree. We're looking for some pizza ingredients. Shift. 
We're not the human who normally comes to see you, but you'll give it to us anyway. I wonder if that human is Jessica. It gave us an herb. Huh, it smells so good. Thanks, Shift Tree. <laughs> Shift. It's asking how the human who normally comes to visit is doing. Just as I thought. It must know Jessica. Shift. She comes here a lot to collect herbs, so it always shares some with her. How about we ask it some questions? <laughs> Shift. It says the Bamboo Forest felt empty and lonely back when the Berserk Pokemon appeared. It must be referring to the incident two years back. Seeing the Bamboo Forest now, it's hard to imagine it is such a big place. Yeah. And the people in Pokemon seem plenty happy to be here now. Shift? Yeah, I'm thinking that sounds pretty... Wait. What? Shifty. Did you just use your special powers to read my mind? What's wrong, Pikachu? What did Shifty say? It asked if I was going to lie down and take a nap here. Shifty must have been reading my mind. Doesn't take a mind reader to guess that's what you were thinking. Doesn't this peaceful sudden make you want to doze off too? Let's both take a nap after we wrap up here. Hey, we didn't come here to relax. <laughs> Shift. Apparently Jessica collects pizza ingredients whenever she comes to the bamboo forest. I guess she really is a hard worker. Shift. Jessica treats the Pokemon of the Bamboo Forest with respect because she believes everyone here, humans and Pokemon, should live in harmony. So Shiftry try So Shiftry shows its appreciation by giving her herbs. Living in harmony, huh? Hello. Knocked Owl. Unsleeping Forest Sentry. Not. This Pokemon is perched up there watching over the bamboo forest. As it's keeping an eye out for anything dangerous. Not. Not. We both clearly look suspicious. Or so it says. What? We're just trying to conduct an investigation. Not. Ah, that explains it. A while back an unfamiliar Pokemon went berserk around here. Since then, it's been trying to alert everyone to any potential danger it sees. A dangerous Pokemon, huh? We should be careful ourselves. Knocked out? Oh yeah, Tim. Is this the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about? Yeah, it's a perfect match. Okay, let's give our answer next time we see her. Oh, cool. Oh, the all-seeing eyes. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Something's moving in this bush. Let me take a look. Chansey! A chance encounter brings happiness. Oh, it's so cute to see like all the Pokemon evolved. Hey, it's a Chansey. Chansey? Don't you think that egg it's holding would make a perfect pizza ingredient? Yeah, I'm sure Jessica would be thrilled if you brought her one of Chansey's eggs. Chansey, Chansey! It says it'll give us one. Aren't you glad we chanced upon a Chansey? Oh, chanced upon a Chansey. Pikachu, that's one of the worst dad jokes I've ever heard. Hey, for once, the pun was not intended. And see it? Chan Chansey. It says that egg should be just what Jessica's looking for. So it knows Jessica. Chansey! Yep, they see each other in the forest all the time. In that case, maybe we can ask it some questions. It says the Pokemon like to come to the bamboo forest because of its abundant nature. The water in the air here is so fresh and clean and never wants to leave this place. Sounds like a comfortable home for these Pokemon. Yep, must be the same for Jessica too. Jessica's a hard worker who likes to put others first. Yep, that tracks. Chansey, Chansey! Couldn't agree more, Chansey. Someone like Jessica doesn't de <laughs> doesn't deserve to be happy. Wow. Couldn't agree more, Chansey. Someone like Jessica does deserve to be happy. I think I understand that feeling. Me too. If you work hard, you deserve all the great things that come with it. Hmm. 
Mimikyu yearns to be popular someday. Kyo Kyo. What's got you looking so down in the dumps? You take a toxic to the face or something? Is something wrong with it? Kyo Kyo Kyo. It was taking a walk around the storage area at the far end of the bamboo forest. Then suddenly an unfamiliar Pokemon rushed out and tried to attack it. Oh man, is it okay? It escaped right away so it wasn't hurt. But its disguise got busted. Kyo Kyo. Unfortunately, its disguise is super difficult to fix, so that's why it's feeling so chest fallen. That's so sad. Is there anything we can do to help? Kyo. It says a mirror would help. Okay, we'll go look for a mirror, so just wait right here. So many side quests. Oh! There are some berries growing on this tree. These are... Naba berries. We saw these at the ruins too. How do they taste again? I already know. Why don't you try one, Tim? Okay. Wow. It's really sweet. Right? Let's bring one to shove it. Yeah, I hope shove it likes it. Huh. This is really strange. Why is there a nabob tree in a forest full of bamboo? Someone must have planted a nab of berry here. What a weird thing to do. Oh, because Harry dropped the berry down there. Dude, it's so cute. Something shiny? Oh. Huh? I think I just saw something sparkle. Oh, yeah? Let me see. Oh, what a pretty brooch. Oh, wrong voice. Oh, what a pretty brooch. Maybe it's the one Meowth was looking for. It has to be. Let's bring it over when we get a chance. Yeah, the only thing I need left for the pizza is mushrooms. Yamper generates electricity with its zoomies. <laughs> yeah. This yamper sounds a little low energy. Maybe it's upset about something. Let's ask. Hey, yamper, something wrong? Yamp, yamp. What? You're so hungry you can't move. Then why not rustle up something to eat in the bamboo forest? Yeah, there's plenty of food here. Yamp? Oh, you're from the city, so the food here isn't suited to your taste. Kind of spoiled, huh? It probably lived a shelter life in the city. Huh. What should we do? I guess we could go back to town and find something you'd like. Yeah. You want some soft, melted cheese? Ah, uh, you're awfully pickly. Cheese? Oh, the boulder's broken now. Ooh, Pettis! Come to think of it, Paris has mushrooms growing on its back. Um, are those things edible? Pera pera, Paris. If we're looking for mushrooms, Paris says we're welcome to take some. Is that even safe? Pera pera. Now those are some jumbo-sized mushrooms. Guess he had some tucked away for a rainy day. For a moment, I was worried he was going to give us the mushrooms off his back. Thanks, Paris. The pizzeria manager can't make his pizza without these mushrooms. <laughs> Looks my looks like my dear Paris got you. <laughs> looks like my dear Paris gave you some mushrooms. They go quite nicely on pizza. You should try it. Um, thanks for the tip. Now I want some too. Let's go get a slice, Paris. Paris. Must be one heck of a buy. Glad we could find the mushrooms for it. Perfect. Okay, we've got our bar. Okay, we've gathered our ingredients. Let's bring them back to Jessica. I want to keep exploring. Dude, this forest is huge! Rumble. Tim, 
Did you hear that? Huh? I didn't hear anything. Huh. Must have been my imagination. Oh, ah! Robile. Verdant Acrobat. Grove. It keeps looking around the bamboo forest. Maybe it's on patrol? Rumble, rumble, thud. Boy, trouble. Oh. I just heard a strange noise. You heard it too. I think the sound came from the cliff over there. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, I, I can't go over there yet. Wait, it's the child. Oh, he is older now. Okay. In the flashback, he was a little twerp. Mm -hmm. Hey there, do you need help finding something? I'm okay. It takes a special technique to get the stuff I'm looking for anyway. Oh, really? What is it you're trying to find? Oval stones, energy rocks, bug Pokemon husks, stuff like that. What a strange list of things for a kid. It's because he's the shop owner's son. Rumble, rumble. Hmm. A dead end. Rumble, rumble. Pikachu, something's coming out of the ground. Spar, spar. Yes. Dunsparce, nests on the ground. Spars. Now here's a Pokemon I never met. Who are you? Huh. I'm glad I decided to follow you two. So the rumors were true. There really is a Dunsparce living here. Spars. So, you're Dunsparce. You look pretty shaken up. Um, what are you planning on doing now? I'm gonna present my findings and tell the whole world that Dunsparce lives here. My once-in-a-lifetime discovery is going to make me famous about this little neighborhood on the map. I can see it now. Bamboo Borough. Global tourist destination home for the elusive Dunsparce. Whoa there. If you go broadcasting Dunsparce's whereabouts like that, it's not going to want to live here anymore. Yeah, he's literally DOXing him. <laughs> Why is he doing a crime to Dunsparce? All he wants to do is live. Sparse. Seems to me like Dunsparce wants to live a quiet life. I know you're excited to share this with everyone, but have you considered not doing that? Huh? A discovery like this only comes once in a lifetime. There's no way I'm letting it slip through my fingers. Spars. And once I present my findings, researchers, the world will... And once I present my findings, researchers, the world over will know my name. I'll become an overnight celebrity. Spars. Have you ever considered how Dunsparce might feel? Just look at that face. Spars. Whoa, Dunsparce. I can see the sadness in your eyes. Spars. All right, I'm sorry for frightening you, Dunsparce. I'll keep this discovery to myself. I'm a researcher, after all. My, du my duty is to preserve your quiet lifestyle, not turn it upside down. Spars? Don't worry, Dunsparce. You're safe now. Tim, over here! Uh, yes, Pikachu? So this is a Dunsparce. I hear it's a pretty rare Pokémon. <laughs> it's a fast one. <laughs> okay. You know what else is pretty quick and fast? Um, clicking the follow button. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in stream, so if you're newer, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Click follow. Do it. Let's continue on. Ooh, fancy far fetched. Sir fetched follows the way of the leak. Fetched. Wow, that's a quite long plant this Pokemon is holding. That's a surfetched. It battles using its leak as a sword and the leaf as a shield. Fetched. 
apparently is traveling all over the world to hone its skills. Oh yeah? I feel like we've met a Pokemon who said something similar before. Okay, same dialogue. Oh. I'm sorry, Miss Glick. <laughs> it was the Meowth, I think, who said that. I found you! Creepy. On a solo adventure for a change, his, his cry sounded like The Weeknd, but even more auto-tuned. <laughs> Dreep. Look, it's the missing Dreepy. Dreep, Dreep. You're exploring the bamboo forest. Exploration's fun and all, but Dral but Dradloke's been worried sick about you. Why don't you take a break and check back in with Dracloke? Dreepy. You want to go back, but you don't know where Dracloke is. Oh, I guess it's lost after all. Dracloak is waiting for you back by the clearing near the entrance to the forest. Treep. <sighs> Will it find its way home okay? I'm worried too. Let's follow it back. Dracloak. You must be relieved to have Dreepy back. Looks like everything's back to normal now. Hmm. Don't ever worry Dracloak like that again. Drac. Huh? You want to thank me by giving me a ride? Thanks, but I'll pass. I'm a little old for Dracloak rides. Ah. Yeah, we, we've yet to find a Pokemon that Pikachu can ride in this chapter. This forest is so big. Whoa! Okay. Dude, there's even more? Oh my god. Dude, Pikachu's not even on the screen. <laughs> he can't keep up. Yes. We've found all the ingredients, Jessica. Oh, you even found the mushrooms. Thanks, you two. Not bad. We got our energy root, too. Wow, that's one big root. Thank you, everyone. Sorry for all the trouble. I'm sure you came here to have fun. It's not a problem. And we did have fun. The Pokemon here are interesting to talk to. They're different from the ones in other parts of Rhyme City. Glad to hear that. Why don't we rest up a bit and then head to the charcoal kiln? Before we do that, Jessica, there's something I'd like you to look at. Oh, me? What do you want to show me? This Jessica, photograph. Jessica, do you remember when this photo was taken? Oh, yes. This brings back memories. We took that photo together to celebrate the beginning of our project. Excuse me. What project was that? That was about two years ago. Rhyme City had formed a partnership with the lab I was working at. Oh, by lab, I mean the Pokemon Unity Lab. Anyway, that's where we launched our project to create a better way for humans and Pokemon to coexist. The people in this photo were the project key members at that time. You don't say. I remember now. Mama mentioned that when the three of us were having dinner as a family. She was so happy when she announced that she and Papa were going to be working on a project together. I know it was exciting. I know it was an exciting thing for them at the time, but I had no idea that it was a big deal. Mama and I used to chat about Pokemon, but she never discussed the details of her job. I didn't know you were a part of it too, Jessica, and as one of the main contributors. Tim, why did you have this photo? Better not you better not tell you found it at the police station. We don't want to make her worry. Um, well, it's part of an assignment for one of our college courses. We were asked to write a report about the mayor. And we found this photo while looking at Papa's desk. Right, Tim? Um, right. <laughs> so 
Sounds like a challenging assignment. Phew. Saved by Rachel's quit thinking. Um, can I ask you other questions? Can I ask you about the others in the photo? Sure, I don't mind. Sorry if these questions end up killing the peaceful vibe. So, you were working at the Pokemon Unity Lab. Does that mean you were a researcher? Yes, I was researching Pokemon behavior. Did you meet Mama through the project? No, your mother and I were in different departments, initially. I first learned who Emma was from a paper she published. So, you were introduced to Rachel's mom through her research. That's right. Emma envisioned a future where humans and Pokemon could communicate. Her paper really was revolutionary. Our colleagues had nothing but praise for it. I was awestruck by it too, of course. I went straight to her after reading it. We talked about her paper, her research, all kinds of things. That's when I decided I'd do whatever I could to help Emma. I didn't know her work was what brought you together. Yes, the entire project's launch was based on her paper. Sounds like Emma's paper about building a new future for Rhyme City really changed your life. I don't even need to read Emma's paper to know that. Just look at how Jessica's beaming right now. I assume Mayor Myers is in this photo because of the lab's partnership with Rhyme City. Yes, that's right. We were able to focus on our research thanks to his support. He and Emma never let their outside relationship affect their work. But I remember they'd ask about Pokemon for hours. They always supported and understood each other. It sounds like Mayor Myers has been thinking about human Pokemon coexistence for a long time. Absolutely. The project never could have launched without its contributions. I see. And Mr. Murloc was part of this project, too. You know him? We ran into him in the city yesterday. He gave me the creeps. Even Tim was surprised by how overbearing he was. He plucked some of Pikachu's fur and ran some tests on it. That sounds like something he'd do. He's a brilliant scientist, sure. But he also thinks he's the smartest person in any room he's in. And the only thing he values is his research. I don't really like him, to be honest. Wow, Jessica, I never heard you say that about anyone. The way he talked about Pokemon, he had such obvious contempt for them. He didn't even try to hide it. He also used the lab for his pet projects, even though it was a... a... He even used the lab for his pet projects, even though it was a public research facility. No one knew exactly what he was researching. But it was, but the quality of his work was always so impeccable that people looked the other way. Um... I assume the woman next to you in this photo is Rachel's mother, Emma. Jessica, what was Mama like in the lab? I'd love to know. Emma had two great loves, her family and Pokemon. Everyone liked and admired her. A lot of us worked extra hard just because we wanted to impress her. I really looked up to her myself. And then... You don't have to talk about anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, and don't worry about me, either. Okay. The project was going well, and the morale was high overall. But then the R incident happened, and Emma... She... She was one of the casualties. Oof. I didn't know that. Rachel. So that's what happened. I should have known. I guess Tim already knew. After the incident, the project was cancelled. I heard the labs have been shut down too. Dude, no wonder the mayor is so aggro against Pokemon. The wife got killed by a Pokemon. Who should have been put to death penalty. <laughs> and that's why you're in Bamboo Burrow now. That's right. I was nervous when I first came here. But everyone has been very kind to me. I'm enjoying myself now. Thanks to Jessica, we are able to gather information about everyone in the photo. We even learned about the lab and the research they were doing. We still don't know why Unitas was targeting Jessica, but we haven't seen anyone suspicious so far. 
Now that Butler's behind bars, I think it's safe to say that Jessica's no longer a target. Thank you, Jessica. We've learned a lot today. I'm so glad I got to hear about everything, too. I'm not sure if anything I said was helpful. Trust me, it's a huge help. I'm sure our report will turn out great thanks to you. And by report, you mean detective work, right, Tim? What? Oh, um, uh. Ah. Uh, couldn't quite stick the landing, huh? You'll get the hang of this eventually, Tim. You're good at telling when people are lying, but not so much at telling lies yourself, am I right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jessica. Yeah, me too. It's alright. I could tell something was off from the questions you were asking. But the weirdness of this photo confirmed it. Huh? Did you think I would have noticed the red circle drawn around my face? Yikes. Oh, we forgot about that. I don't get why, but it seems like you're worried about me. I'm doing okay. Nothing unusual has been going on either. Making Jessica worry was exactly what I wanted to avoid. Guess I shouldn't rest on my laurels either. So, uh, Jessica, should we head over to the charcoal kiln soon? Yes, we should. Is there anything else you need to do? If so, I can wait until you finish up. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay, let's do the side quest in the main city, because I don't know if we're going to be able to go back. Because I assume after the pizza sequence, we're going to switch back to Harry. So, detective, have you figured out the answer? <laughs> uh, yes. It's Noctowl, isn't it? Correct. With your sharp eye for detail, it's no surprise you got that right. Gano? Noctowl can see in the dark as long as there's the tiniest amount of light. It uses that keen eyesight to sneak up on its prey from above. Once Noctowl's got a target, there's no escape. Take care not to do anything suspicious, or else it might peck at you. Okay, we'll be careful. Getting pecked by that sharp beak is definitely at the bottom of my to-do list. Now it's the final stretch. Here's your last question. What agile Pokemon has leaves growing on its arms and head? Piano. Based on that description, I bet it's a Pokemon living in the bamboo forest. Yeah, maybe its body is green too. Better keep your eyes peeled, Tim. Uh, let me know when you find it. It's the Grovile. Okay, this guy might- no, no new dialogue. I need to find food. That was not the meal that has the missing amulet. Squall. Hey, Squobit, we've got something for you. It's a Naba berry. We found it by the pond in the Nabu forest. Squall. Try it, it's really sweet. Squall. Squoobit! See? Nice and sweet, right? It seems to like the berry. Squoobit! Squo Next time you want to satisfy that sweet tooth of yours, you can find more by the pond in the bamboo forest. Just don't go overboard. A mirror? Where am I gonna find a mirror? Here you go. This is the brooch you were looking for, isn't it? Meow. Careful not to lose it again. Meow. That will be all? That's it? Not even a thank you. It really is prideful. Come to think of it, why did Meowth even have a brooch to begin with? Don't tell me it was stolen from the ceramic shop. Meow. None of our business, it says. I don't think we'll get a straight answer from it. Let's try asking someone who works there. Are we gonna snitch?
Okay, this is the same dialogue from earlier. Where am I gonna get food, though? Hi there. Are you looking for anything in particular? Mm -hmm. Not really. Actually, I wanted to ask you about that Meowth over there. Do you know anything about that pretty brooch it always has? Oh, that? I gave it to him as a gift. A gift? Oh, wait. Are you Meow's partner? Yes, I am. I've traveled all over the world buying pieces to sell in my shop. I met Meowth during my travels in the Alola region. He seemed quite enamored by the brooch I was wearing at the time. We ended up growing th thick as thieves and decided to live together. That explains what an alone Pokemon is doing here. You don't see much of him in this neck of the woods. He may seem a little standoffish, but he's actually quite kind. He even helps out around the shop. Really? How nice of him. I can't imagine that Meowth lifting a paw to help anyone. That just goes to show how special the bond is between Pokemon and their partners. He's treasured that brooch since the day we met. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't seen him with it in quite a while. Oh dear. I hope he hasn't lost it. We actually found his brooch in the bamboo forest and gave it back to him. Is that so? He must be thrilled that you found it. He's shy and has trouble showing his appreciation. So allow me to express my gratitude on his behalf. Thank you for your help. Who would have guessed that Meowth had such a kind partner? He's lucky to have her. Okay, all I have left is food, mirror, and then Pokemon. A mirror. Yeah. Come meow. Come meow. He's happy to answer questions if it'll help Jessica. Great, thanks. I don't need to do that right now, I don't think. I'm gonna talk to the Grovile real quick, and then I'll do the Jessica sequence. Roma. Ralph. Huh. What? Ralph? You came out onto this path because you heard some noise. What are you doing here? Bro. Apparently it's patrolling the bamboo forest to protect the weaker Pokemon. Sounds like it has a strong sense of responsibility. Bro. It's got a feeling something bad is gonna happen today. What? You don't really think. Maybe it's the kind of instinct only wild Pokemon have. Bro. If something does happen, I'm glad you're here to take care of the Pokemon. Say, remember the Pokemon from the quiz professor's question? The agile one that has leaves growing on its arm and head? Do you think she might have been talking about Grovile? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go tell her. Yeah, the other mission I just needed cheese. Which there was no cheese in the village. P Pikachu, keep it up? <laughs> Hi, detective. Are you ready to give me an answer? <laughs> Yeah, the answer is Grovile. Huh, typical detective, that's correct. Kano? 
Robot can leap into motion instantaneously. It leaps from stalk to stalk in the bamboo forest until it spots prey. Then Grovile leaps right at it. That's how Grovile battles, by using its environment to its advantage. Sounds like the last Pokemon you'd want for an enemy in a place like the bamboo forest. The Grovile we saw here seemed very kind, though. Well, that's the end of our fun quiz sessions. But it would be a shame if you didn't continue putting your shop eye for detail to good use. Do you want to research Pokemon with me full time? Who? Well, what do you say? I'm flattered, but... I've already got my hands full with my detective work. And I don't know how I feel about quizzing strangers on the street. I'm not making vertical TikTok videos. I'm a detective. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I hope to see you around anyway. Geno. Dang, two missions left. Let's return to Jessica. Yes. Oh, I should have looked at the boulder. Were you able to finish up everything, Tim? No. Yes. I want to look at the boulder. Let me look at this rock. This is my Roman Empire. <laughs> it's all thanks to that boulder. It wasn't here yesterday. Are you talking about the energy root? Yes, I think this fallen boulder caused the energy root to pop out. That makes sense. The boulder is lodged deep enough in the ground that I doubt it rolled here on its own. It probably landed here after a Pokemon used a move or threw it as a display of strength, or something like that. Okay, that- wow, that was it. <laughs> you know what else could be it for some of you all an ad break because we are three hours in the stream it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99 just $5 skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime click subscribe see if you have a Prime sub available after the ad, we're gonna keep playing. I wanna find Harry. I'm gonna find my dad. Okay, let's talk to Jessica. Yes. Were you able to finish up everything, Tim? Uh, yes. Yes. Well then, let's head over to the charcoal kiln. You'll see it right after crossing the bridge up ahead. This place. I'm sure of it. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, Pikachu, follow the leader. Is everything all right, Tim? You two go on ahead. We'll Aww. catch up with you. Oh. Yep, no mistake in it. What's going on, Pikachu? Yeah, I knew this was the place. I see. How'd it take me so long to realize? This place hasn't changed one bit since then. Did you remember something again? This is where I was protecting the injured Pokemon. When I tried to get a closer look at Pancham, I met Pikachu. I mean, I, I met Harry. What? So, this is where you and Dad met. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure thing. You mentioned before that you met Dad in the Bamboo Forest. Is this exactly where it happened? Yep. This is where I was protecting Pancham while he was injured. Didn't leave his side until he was all better. When I saw Harry come closer, I jumped out because he looked suspicious. Pikachu jumped out like that really startled me. I was just trying to get a closer look at Pancham's injury. I guess I must have looked suspicious. Because the moment Pikachu saw me, he tried to scare me off. Wait. Hold on. Your story doesn't make sense. Huh? What part don't you get? You were protecting Pancham, and then you startled yourself when you jumped out. What in the world? The swimming pool was closed? Damn. That sucks. 
Well, welcome back, Totoro. You should riot. <laughs> you should give them a one-star Yelp review. <laughs> the pool was closed. One star. <laughs> Every other town was great, but when it was closed, one star. Mm -hmm. So, you are protecting the injured Pancham. Yeah? Pancham got hurt by a Berserk Pokemon. I tried to help by battling the Berserk Pokemon, but it was too big. Took a lot of effort just to make it go away. It sounds like you helped out plenty. Anyway, I checked on Pancham's injury while Pikachu was trying to scare me off. I think Pikachu had a bit too much of the grog. I... L <clears throat> I left Pikachu to watch over Pancham. Then I ran over the neighborhood in the bamboo forest to collect some medicine. And then I managed to heal Pancham. Who knows what would have happened if I had taken any longer. So, you were protecting Pancham. Then you got some medicine for Pancham. Was it you or Dad who got the medicine? It was me, of course. Huh. Another story from Pikachu that doesn't make sense. He doesn't even notice that some of the things he said don't add up. It's not like him. It's ki I'm kind of worried. <sighs> Something about Pikachu's story seems off again. I'll organize everything he said and figure out which part of his story sounded strange. Let's begin deducing. Mm -hmm. I'll sort through and think over what Pikachu said he did when he helped Pancham. Pikachu looking for medicine while protecting Pancham. Pikachu trying to scare off Dad. Or Pikachu protecting Pancham. Yeah, he can't protect him and search for medicine. That was the contradiction. Oh, We caught his lie. Pikachu said he stayed by Pancham's side the whole time and protected him. If that were the case, he wouldn't have been able to look for medicine at the same time. These two parts of Pikachu's story clearly contradict each other. I had a feeling something was off about his memory. I should have... I should have him rest back in town. Tell him to lay off the eggnog too. Oh. Say, do you feel the ground shaking? Yeah, I do. Wait, huh? It feels like it's getting stronger. Oh, something's coming! Oh, this is bad. Pikachu! Say, aren't you... I knew I recognized you! Hey. Is this our... Prison buddy? <laughs> hey, who would have thought we'd run into each other like this? Goro. Do you two know each other? Yeah, he held me back out. Yeah, he held me out back at the police station. We escaped the detainment room together, too. Oh, I had no idea. In a way, that means you helped me out, too. Thanks for all you did yesterday, Pongoro. Goro. So, what brings you all the way out here? Goro. Oh, right. This is where you're from. Well, I hope you've been able to rest up, Pangoro. Goro. Ah! <gasps> that was... Rachel! No, Rachel! It sounds like she's in trouble. Let's go! Yeah. How can we talk to Pangoro? <laughs> what is this angle? Goro. Yeah, that screen from one of... Yeah, that screen came from one of our friends. Sorry, but we'll have to catch up later. Dude, I wanted lore. I wanted them to kiss and make up. Is this... Bro... What's with all these rocks? They weren't here earlier. They have to be connected to whatever happened to Rachel and Jessica. Let's check him out, Tim. 
These rocks weren't here earlier. Let's examine them and see if we can figure out what happened. I can click on Pikachu. If these rocks weren't in our way, our job here would be so much easier. <laughs> Wait. Some way to move them. Does Tim have a crush? I mean, Rachel is like the implied love interest, but he's like, you know how when you're in like middle school or high school and you're like, oh, I actually don't like them, but you're like, I actually do. It's like that. Like Pikachu keeps trying to riz Tim and make him like ask Rachel out on a date. But Tim is not having it. If they kiss at the end, that would go crazy. But Tim is too much of a wimp to make a move. That's a big Pokemon footprint. Judging by the death, the Pokemon was pretty heavy too. It's not Pongoro's footprint, and I don't think it was made by any of the- Wait, that voice is totally wrong. It's not Pongoro's footprint, and I don't think it was made by any- uh... It's not Pangoro's footprint, and I didn't think- Bro, what's wrong with me? It's not Pangoro's footprint, and I don't think it was made by any of the other Pokemon living in the Bamboo Forest either. If it was left by a Pokemon that came from elsewhere, that might be somehow related to these rocks. I think that's safe to assume. These footprints are larger than Rachel and Jessica's. They might belong to a man. They're mixed in with Rachel and Jessica's footprints, and I doubt they were made by a tourist. Do you think someone is going after Jessica? We can't rule it out. Uh-oh, they got kidnapped! Mm -hmm. Judging by the size of these footprints, I bet they're Rachel and Jessica's. It looks like they ran up ahead beyond the rocks. Knowing which way they went is a big help. These rocks weren't here earlier. It doesn't seem like they rolled down from anywhere either. Yeah, they're also like really, like, boxy. Yeah. We know they haven't been here long, and they look different from the other rocks nearby. A Pokemon must have caused this. Perfect. That's all there is to see here. We need to do something about these rocks so we can go find Jessica and Rachel. Huh. We can either ask the people in town for help or find a Pokemon that can deal with them. A Pokemon, huh? I wonder if we could ask... Hongaro, yes. Should we go see him right now? Yes. There you are! Hey! Bongoro! Goro. Break those hey, rocks! Hey, Bongoro! Do you mind if I ask you for a lift? Finally, a Pokemon to ride! <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah! Now we're unstoppable! Pangaro, let's go! Man, he used to get a seatbelt. <laughs> the view up here is amazing. There's a bunch of rocks blocking the path up ahead. Can you flex those muscles and clear the way for us, Pangaro? Sure thing. I love the Pikachu POV so much. You want me to move one of these rocks, right? And I go ahead and get started. Yes. Hey. Do your thing, Pongaro. Right. Right action. Press the R button in front of a boulder to push it forward one space at a time. Push boulders that are blocking your way to move onward. Note that you can't pull boulders. If you get stuck, press minus to reset. This is a no reset run. Watch this. Wait. <laughs> um. Thanks. Oh, okay. I thought I had to like move it forward. All right, the path's clear now. You've been a huge help, Pongaro. Huh? Stuff like that's a piece of cake. 
Thank you. Thank you both. I'm gonna head over to the bridge now. There's no time to lose. Rachel, Jessica, I'm on my way. We should head that way too. All right. How about we don't? Let's investigate this area when Tim's here. Okay. Fine. Oh well. I love how he walks. So good. Pikachu. Look. What do we do? Yeah, I see it. Just give me a sec. Thanks, punk girl. You can put me down now. Okay. <sighs> the bridge is broken. Those rocks must have smashed it. Hey, Tim. Look. Footprints. Rachel and I think Jessica's. it's dinosaurs. They went across this bridge. <sighs> Jessica said the charcoal kiln is across the bridge, right? If we can get there somehow, we might be able to find Rachel and Jessica. Yeah. Huh. Hold on. Tim, there's another way to get to the other side of the bridge. It's through the storage area. Huh? Where's that? It's over that way up the hill. It's the place where it wouldn't let me go. Hey. It's up this hill. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the insight, Pikachu. Wow. Hey. This is it. We can go to the... This is it. We can get to the charcoal kiln from here. Nice work, Pikachu. But how did you know about this? I've gone this way before. Hey. We can get to the other side of the bridge from here. No doubt about it. Should we go in now? Yes. Mm -hmm. We must save them. Okay, Pikachu. I trust you. Let's go. All right, here we go. Well, this sure is a storage area. Nice that there are lights at least. Let's see if we can find anything useful. Oh, Pangaro's here too. That's one heavy looking gate. Just. Yeah, do you think it's right locked? Lot. There's one way to find out. Dude, he can fit through that. He's fit in smaller holes before. Oh, another nom flashback. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Harry and Pikachu. Pika. Oh, he's so cute. Thank goodness. I'm glad you're okay. Pika, Pika. <sighs> Guess Laron's still looking for us. Hmm. Right after I tried talking to those two suspicious guys, the Lara next to them started going berserk. There's no way those two weren't responsible for its sudden change in behavior. You think so too, right, Pikachu? Pika, Pika, Pikachu! Yeah, you have every right to be angry. Those guys better watch out. Once I find them, I'm taking them straight to the police. Pika! That said, they probably got away already. I'd go chase him down, but Laron's outside. Pika? Huh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not out of ideas just yet. For now, let's find ourselves a safe way out of here. I'll set my sights on those two guys after that. Come on, Pikachu. Let's see if there's another door that'll get us out of here. Pika? 
Dude, Pikachu can literally fit through those bottom grates. Hmm. It's an iron gate. Surely it's... Nope. Locked. What's with everybody locking their gates today? There's gotta be something we can do. Let's see. Hmm. What can we find here? Good grief. This iron gate's pretty sturdy. Locked tight too. There's a lot of space over on the other side. That must be where everything is stored. I should have asked the boss for the key to open this gate too. Ooh! Ain't no way. Is that a key? Maybe it's a spare. Pretty careless of them to just leave it there, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I just gotta reach my hand out and... Ah, I can't reach it. If only there was a stick or something I could use. Huh. What should I do? Hmm, I wonder. I, Mario, wonder. Pikachu, you can fit. There's a pretty big gap in the bottom. I wonder if I can... Nope, too, 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 too tight. Pika, Pika. Don't worry, I'll figure this thing out. I think I'm done checking out this area. Hmm. Okay, I think I've seen enough of this gate. Now, how do I get that key? Pika, Pika? You're down to give me a hand, huh? Pika, Pikachu! Oh, that's right. You could probably fit through that gap and get to the other side. Okay, Pikachu. I want you to get that key. It's that little thing over there. See it? Once we get that, we can open this gate. Pika, pee? I don't think it understood that. I better try explaining step by step. First, I need Pikachu to get to the other side of the gate. How should I communicate that? Point at the gap. Okay. Pikachu, I want you to pop through that gap down there and get to the other side of the gate. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I want it. Okay. All right. Pikachu's through the gap. Now, how should we explain the next step? What am I doing for holidays? Um, nothing really. Probably gonna cook at home. I'm having a friend come over this weekend, so we're doing like a mini late Thanksgiving, but just with my sister, me, and that one friend. <laughs> and we're not doing turkey. <laughs> so. My sister and I are debating if we like want to go out to eat on Thanksgiving. Alright. Pikachu's through the gap. Now, how should I explain the next step? Show it the key. Okay. Pikachu, see this? Look for the same thing and bring it over here, will ya? <laughs> He's so cute! Okay. Thanks, Pikachu. Now, I can open this gate. Pikachu! Did it. Dude, I love Pikachu when he doesn't have the deep voice. Can we have this Pikachu back? Come on. Cool, more than what I'm doing? And that's okay. Honestly, I think holidays are overrated. I'll say it. Or let me... <laughs> holidays are only fun if, like, you like your family. <laughs> Otherwise, it's awkward. Hmm. Now, let's see if this key works. We're in. Bingo. It opened. Okay, how is this going to get us out exactly? Get it. Oh, it's like a whole other... It's not a room, it's a whole passageway. Get it. Oh my god. 
the, the frame rate on these guys? Let me through. Hello. Hmm. Another gate? Well, lucky for me, I got that key from earlier. I'll just give it a turn and... Huh. Graveler. Rolling stone. Hmm. Why did it decide to take a nap right here? Sorry, Graveler, but I'm gonna have to give this gate a pretty hearty shove. Here goes. Huh. No dice. It won't budge. That Graveler's no featherweight. Hey, Graveler. Wake up, will ya? <laughs> it's sound asleep. How can I get it to move? Pikachu, kill him! I'll see if I can find anything that might help. It's no use. Graveler is fast asleep. I doubt it'll wake up to sh if I shake it or tickle it. How can I get it to move? Hmm. Okay. Oh, Pikachu can tickle him. There's a gap down here, too. I could have Pikachu pop through it again. Pika, Pika! Thanks, buddy. I'm counting on you. This gate's not locked, but I can't open it with Graveler in the way. I gotta figure out a way to get it to move. I see some small berries. Those look like Chesto berries. If I remember right, they can wake up a sleeping Pokemon. I have to do all the sequences? I have the answer though. Pikachu crawls in, shoves a berry down its throat, and then he wakes up. Hmm. I see some berries with stems. Those look like Wacom berries. If I remember right, they can protect Pokemon from electric type attacks. Hmm. I see some berries with the with a thorny skin. Those look like durn berries. If I remember that right, they're used to make Poke Blocks. Okay. That's all I can see here. Hmm. Maybe I can use one of those berries to make Raveler wake up. I wonder if Pikachu could get a berry for me. Pika? You'll do it? Uh, thanks a million, Pikachu. Pika! Alright, now which berry should I tell Pikachu to get? A chesto berry. Okay. That one, Pikachu. Grab a chesto berry. On the left there. One of the small berries with the pointed ends. Okay. Okay. I got the berry. Now I just need to give it to Graveler. Hmm. A Chesto berry should wake it right up. Did, how do you give him the berry? Did he put it through a different orifice? Like what? Grav. Hey, it woke up. Hey there, Graveler. Sorry for the rubble rousing, but would you mind moving over just a bit so I can get this gate open? Grav. Okay. Thanks for the help, Graveler. Grav. And thanks for the assist, Pikachu. Pika. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Pikachu! Oh, here's the elevator. Looks like there's nowhere else to go. 
Mika. Don't tell me. Don't tell me we've hit a dead end. Huh? Is that an elevator? Uh huh. This must be the storage area I heard about. Which would make this elevator the one the old charcoal shop master is always fixing? Huh. How's that for luck? Save myself a trip. Pika? Pikachu? Okay. This is our ticket out, Pikachu. We can use this elevator to get back up to the ground level. Pikachu? Okay, let's check this thing out and get back up above ground. Okay, I don't think you should touch that. It's... You'll, you'll die. Don't ever touch live wires. If you spill water near wires, don't touch it. He should have had... Yeah, I... <laughs> I'm like hung up on how did he give the graveler the berry? He, he can't reach the bars. How do he do it? <laughs> I can't stop thinking about that. They need to do an internal investigation about Harry. It's a power unit. There's a machine inside that sends electricity to the elevator. There doesn't seem to be any major damage, but the electricity isn't flowing properly. This is probably why the elevator keeps breaking down. Can't imagine the charcoal master helped much by whacking it either. Hmm. These are the elevator buttons. There's one for going up and one for going down. The power's on the frizz, so nothing happens when I press one. If I want to get them working, I'm going to have to get the electricity flowing again. Wait, we literally have a Pikachu. That, that just clicked. <laughs> There's light coming in from above, so I'm pretty sure the elevator will take us back outside. Hmm. If I want to get the elevator working again, I think I just need to fix the flow of electricity. Once I do that, we can get back up to ground level. Pikachu? Hmm. The question now is, how do I fix the electricity? This being a storage area and all, I figured they'd at least have some tools or spare parts lying around. Huh, what should I do? Pika, Pika? The electricity's not flowing properly. The Charcoal Master's approach has been just to give the machine a good smack, and that seems to do the job. It's clearly not a permanent solution. But something about the shock of that initial impact seems to get the electricity flowing again. It's probably just like loose wires inside or something. Or a gasket. Pika! Pika! Pikachu! Oh, sorry, buddy. I, I was just thinking out loud and... Oh, that's right. I'm not in this alone. I've got you here to help me, Pikachu. Pika? You see this power unit? I want you to use an electric-type move on it. Pika! 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 The electricity might start flowing properly if you give it a good jolt. You think you can do that, Pikachu? Pika! Pikachu! Thunderbolt! Okay. Do your thing, Pikachu! Pika! Pikachu! Pikachu! Use Thunderbolt! Pika! You did it! Pikachu! Great job, Pikachu. Pikachu! Pikachu! And we're in. And this should get us out of here. I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Pikachu. Pikachu! He's so cute. <laughs> okay. Finally. Fresh air. Pika! Awesome work, Pikachu. 
First you help Pancham, and then you go and fix the elevator? Is there anything you can't do? Seriously. Seriously, though. I couldn't have come this far without you. Thanks, Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> this must be the charcoal kiln hut. Okay. We did it, Pikachu. We made it to the charcoal kiln. Pika, Pika. I was told this is where the Berserk Pokemon appeared. Investigating that incident's the whole reason I'm here. We ran into a Berserk Pokemon on the way here, too. Pika? I learned something from that encounter, at least. Humans definitely have something to do with the Berserk Pokemon. Pika. Let me think back of what I've seen so far. Two suspicious guys, and a lair on that went Berserk right in front of us. Hmm. Those guys seemed very flustered when they saw me. They didn't seem like locals to me. They probably came here from somewhere else. They're foreigners! <laughs> Pika Pika! Judging by the way Pikachu reacted to him, I'm pretty sure they had something to do with Laron going berserk. Hmm. The Laron was calm when I first saw those two guys. But once they started running away, Laron went berserk. Did it go berserk because it was scared of us? Or for some other reason? Pika? Laron's eyes caught my attention too. Its eyes were usually light blue, but they were red when it started going berserk. Something about that feels off to me. Pika, Pika. Okay. Well, I think that's all... Well, I think that's about all I've got to ponder. Time for some deduction. Hmm. So, it turns out humans are involved in the berserk Pokemon incidents in Bamboo Burrow. Those two suspicious-looking guys I saw in the forest looked like they were trying to avoid being seen by other people. And that Laren was probably a Pokemon they brought along with them. The question is, why did Laren go berserk? I'll try to deduce whether that was anything strange about Laren's behavior when it went berserk. It is time to start deducing. Now then. And it's also time for me to tell you, if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. Guys, click the follow button, it's free. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turned on, that way you don't miss a single stream. <clears throat> dun dun. <laughs> dun dun. Why did Laren go berserk all of a sudden? Laren was startled by the humans. Laren was forced to go berserk, or a human gave orders. Laren was forced to go berserk. This is it. Something definitely seemed off about Laren's red eyes, not to mention the way it went berserk. It, I feel like I wasn't even thinking straight. Almost like it just lost its mind all of a sudden. Why did it react so violently? I need to get to the bottom of this. Let's assume for the sake of argument that Laren was forced to go berserk. Considering all of the destruction in the bamboo forest and Laren's violent, out of control behavior. It all makes sense if those two guys forced Laren to go berserk. Though how they did that, I'm not sure. There might be more evidence back there. Once I'm done investigating here, I'll go take another look around the bamboo forest. Dun dun. Hmm. If those two really are the ones making Pokemon go berserk, then... Pika! 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 What's wrong? Laren? Seriously? How did it follow us here? Watch out! Who? 
Pikachu. You, you're the animal. You should know how to run. Harry's dead. Oh, he has the wedding ring on. Unleash Thunderbolt. Mashing. Oh my god, this is difficult. <laughs> okay, I'm just go. Oh, God. That was easy. Oh, hey, nice job. He's so cute. Hey, are you okay? Looks like those jerks were using you. Huh? What's this? A vial? A brilliance! Pokemon have been going berserk, and this stuff is why. Exactly. You think so too? If this gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster. But I will not let that happen. Thanks for all your help, buddy. Bye now. Oh. Come? Wait, so Pikachu's just gonna leave his friend Pen, the well, little panda guy? You can have this. Looks great on you. Pikachu. Right, let's go. Pikachu! Wake up, Pikachu! Uh, I fell asleep again. Oh, hey Tim. What's with that look? Come on! You worry too much. How are you not concerned about this, Pikachu? You keep collapsing out of nowhere. Aren't you at all anxious about what might be causing that? Do you have any idea how worried we've all been? You're right, Tim. I'm sorry. I was trying to downplay it to keep you all from worrying, but I guess that backfired. Sorry, Pikachu. I didn't mean to go off on you like that. No, I need to hear it. I'll get myself checked out after we finish this investigation. But for now, we gotta focus on finding Rachel and Jessica. Let's hurry up and go. Wait, we can't just go rushing in. We don't know what's in here. Don't worry. I've been here before with Harry. It's safe in here, and there's an elevator in the back. We won't get lost. Your dream jogged my memories about this place, huh? Mind filling me in? Mm-hmm. You met Dad in the bamboo forest, right? Did you two come here next? Pretty much. Things got pretty... hairy. After I gave Panchim his medicine. Harry and I encountered a berserk Pokemon, and we ended up here after we ran away. You had to run? What happened? I had Pikachu look after Pancham, and I headed in the direction of the Roaring. He what? Sounds like his memories are jumbled again. As I was heading toward where the loud roar came from, I saw Hoot Hoot flying as fast as his wings could carry it. I knew right away that Hoot Hoot must have encountered a berserk Pokemon. I wanted to confirm it, though, so I climbed up a huge boulder and headed toward where Hoot Hoot had come flying from. When I saw Harry heading that way, I scrambled up the boulder to catch up with him and let Pancham him behind. Huh? This isn't quite making sense. 
After Harry and I climbed the boulder, we ran into these two shady guys and a berserk Pokemon. The berserk Pokemon started attacking us, so we ran away and ended up stumbling into the storage area. I'm not sure how accurate his memory is for some parts of the story. I guess the one consistent thing is that they escaped the berserk Pokemon by running into the storage area. Yeah. The people of Bamboo Burrow use the storage area. Some Pokemon live here, but it's generally a safe place. A storage area, huh? I guess that's why it's such a sturdy structure. Hmm. There's an elevator up ahead that we can use to get to the ground level. I'll let us out onto the other side of the bridge, which is perfect. The power doesn't always work, but I know how to fix that. Wow, really? I guess we're covered then. Uh, yeah. Totally. Hey. Anyway, we can get out of here if we just follow the path beyond the gate. I know exactly what to do. It sounds straightforward, but we should still be careful. I'm worried about your condition. I appreciate it. Now let's go find Rachel and Jessica. Oh, wait a second. I want to organize my thoughts first. Let's get to deducing. I'm trying to make sense of Pikachu's story, but something else about it seems strange to me. I know not everything makes sense in a dream, but parts of what he told me actually did make sense. I just have this hunch that I also need to sort out what he said in that story. Let's begin deducing. Oh. I know, there's something strange about what Pikachu said he did. Pikachu noticed where the Berserk Pokemon was first. Pikachu climbed the same boulder twice. Dad and Pikachu acting separately. Um, they climbed the boulder twice because he said me and Harry climbed the boulder. Mm -hmm. If what Pikachu said is true, it would mean he climbed the huge boulder twice. I doubt that he climbed down the boulder just to climb it a second time. He also said that he followed my dad. What does this all mean? Hey. Okay, let's head further into the storage area. Sounds good. Hey. This metal gate's locked, but we got nothing to worry about. I can fit through the gaps at the bottom and search for the key on the other side. This gate doesn't seem to be locked, actually. See? Huh? Wow. My clever solution fizzled into nothing? Huh. Folks around here really ought to be more careful about leaving things unlocked. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. The important thing is that we can get through without any trouble. Easy. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, what are these boulders? Pikachu, what's up with these huge rocks all over the place? These weren't around the last time I was here. Where the heck did these come from? Well, lucky for us, I know exactly who to ask for help with this kind of stuff. Pangaro. Goro. Tim, should we ask for Pangaro's help? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do this, Pangaro. Goro. I'm in. You want me to push these rocks, right? Mind if I get to it? Hey. Do your thing, Pangaro. Okay. Actually, think. Oh, I have to fill the path here too. Okay. Thank you. 
Exactly. I think that's it. Thanks. Okay, good. I thought I had to fill those other two empty slots. Nice. Now we can keep going. Thanks for the assist, Pangaro. Sure. If you need any more help, just say the word. You want me to move these rocks too? Mind if I get started? Yes, go. Hey. Do your thing, Pangaro. Okay. Um. I think I know what I gotta do. Watch this. one forward. Oh, wait, 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 I think I got it. Hold. There we 
we go. Thanks. <laughs> All right, the path's clear. Thanks, Pangaro. Don't mention it. Thank you. Thank you both. Looks like we can continue now. Dig. Digs are being. Excavator extraordinaire. Hey, it's Digsby. What are you doing at a place like this? I'm working on my artistic creations. Dig it? What do you mean? All these nice rocks blocks I made today. They're my pride and joy, you dig? Don't they look great? You mean you're the one who dug up those holes and left all those boulders lying around? I sure did. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed them. Ah, uh, enjoy isn't the first word that comes to mind. We filled those holes. They were in the way. You did what? You ruined my precious artistic creations? Sorry, but we didn't have a choice. It was our only way through. Dig nabbit. Let's go, Pikachu. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Great. The elevator power unit looks like it's working properly. What a relief. Want me to move this too? And no, no, no. Don't, don't you worry about that. Hmm. These must be the elevator buttons. Let's get Tim over here before we press anything. All right. Can he not follow? Mm -hmm. well, what is it, Pikachu? Mm -hmm. Be careful getting down. Thanks for your help, Angaro. You ready, Tim? Yes. <laughs> uh, looks like these elevator buttons are working. Uh, I guess none of my memories that came back to me will come in handy after all. That's not true. They helped us get all the way here. Now we've just got to ride the elevator up and... Go. 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 It came from above. That can't be good. Let's hurry on up. Dressing out won't make this go any faster, Tim. Ooh, they're fighting. Right. Okay. That roar came from somewhere nearby. Keep your guard up, Tim. Right. Let's go. Wait, is that... Rachel! Jessica! Tim! Wait! That guy! Looks like I got what I was after. Now I just need to capture that detective. I've already given you the research data. Just leave us alone. What did you say? You've got a lot of nerve making demands of Unitas. Unitas? Been waiting for you, great detective. Now you're dealing with an elite. Golem, attack! We're up, Pangaro! Oh! <laughs> I'm magic? Dude, Pangaro's so strong!
Oh no! Roland! Roland! Great. Phew. That was pretty intense. I'm glad he took off. Pikachu! Pongaro! That looked like a tough opponent to handle. Are you two okay? <laughs> that was nothing for the two of us, right, Pongaro? Goro. <laughs> I get the feeling you two could handle just about anything. It seems like Rachel and Jessica are okay, too. That's great to hear. We should go check in with them. Oh, that's the bridge path, I think. Dude, did he not intervene when he saw them get kidnapped? What? What the frick? He's like, I don't get paid enough for this. Traco Shop Apprentice. Thank you for getting that horrible man to leave. I honestly wanted to help, but that golem gave me such an awful look that I froze up. Great. I'm glad you kept safe. Yeah, getting involved could have gotten you hurt. And I'm sure the master of the charcoal shop has enough to worry about already. Okay, Val. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to Jessica. Yes. Jessica, are you okay? I just... Why? She doesn't look hurt, but she's pretty shaken up. Let's wait until she's had some time to process. Yeah. Oop. Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine too. But they stole something really important. <sighs> that man in black and er that man in black room earlier. It sounded like he was with this group called the Unitas. Unitas? What's that? He knew I was carrying something important, too. What does this all mean? Breathe, Jessica. It's okay. You're safe now. I just... I, I can't believe this is happening. I understand it might be difficult to talk about, Jessica, but do you think you can answer some questions? Sure, I can do that. Excuse me. The man in black mentioned something called Unitas. Can you tell me more about that? Yes. You remember that project I told you about before? The one Emma launched with the lab in Rhyme City? It was called the Unitas Project. Huh? They have the same name. It surprised me as well. But why? Why would they use the same name as Mama's project? Jessica told us before that the project was cancelled and the lab was shut down. Maybe that guy used to work at the lab back when it was still running. Do you remember ever seeing him, Jessica? No, I've never seen him before. He knew how I was, though. So, that man in black just now was with the Unitas organization. There's no way this is all a coincidence. Agreed. There's gotta be sp something behind all of this. Hi, Unbaked Marmot. Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello. How are you? I am good. My throat hurt because this game has a lot of talking. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Are you a squeaks watcher? <laughs> Sorry. That got... That got, um... <laughs> Pookie was a banned term. <laughs> no? Okay. Everybody in Squeaks' chat calls him Buki. That's so funny. Oh my god. That's so funny. Don't call me Buki, though. <laughs> I love your TikTok. Thank you. You're watching while doing Spanish homework? Ooh! I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo right now. Or rather, refreshing. Because I took it... I did Spanish for four years in high school. I'm cracked. Excuse me? Jessica, what did that Unitas guy steal from you? 
Research data. Emma collected it at the lab. What? You were just carrying that around? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I kept it on a thumb drive. I thought of it like a good luck charm. Dude, she's literally so dumb. If you know anything about cybersecurity, you don't have anything that people can access, whether they're digitally or physically. Why would she carry a flash drive with sensitive information on it on her persons? That's literally so dumb. Dude, and she had a government job. But why? Were you planning on... But why? Were you planning to continue her research? No, quite the opposite, actually. That research data could spell danger for both humans and Pokemon. I figured I should hold on to it to keep that from happening. I can't believe my mom would research something so dangerous. The research itself was about how people and Pokemon could live together in harmony. Emma was specifically focused on the possible interactions between Pokemon and human consciousnesses. <gasps> I was right! In the middle of her research, she made an unexpected discovery. A way for a human to take full control of a Pokemon's consciousness, or even fuse their own consciousnesses with it. I knew it. The moment I heard Harry's voice, it's basically the same as Pikachu's. Dude, I knew it! That's horrifying. Emma thought so too. That's why she kept her data hidden from everyone at the lab. I was the only person she told where she kept it. She must have really trusted you, Jessica. Yes, but I couldn't fully understand all the data. It was a bit above my level of expertise. When the lab shut down after the R incident, I took the research data with me. And now that Unita's... <laughs> and now that Unita's goon has it. I should have deleted it when I had the chance. But I couldn't bring myself to do it. Why did you hold it on your keychain? You're literally so stupid. It's okay, I understand. Dr. Myers meant a lot to you, and you wanted to remember her. Yes. Thank you, Rachel. Hmm. Unitas must have known what was in that research data. What do you think, Tim? Jessica sure gave us a lot to consider, huh? No kidding. So, she was attacked by people who were after Emma's research data. And they called themselves Unitas. The same name as Emma's project. Wait, isn't this like literally how Mewtwo was made? If we head to the lab... My thoughts exactly. This mystery's been twisty, but I think we're starting to get it. You're right. I suspect that... Wait, <gasps> Tim. Just a second. I'd like to back up our theory a bit more before we go and get too excited. How? We'll start tomorrow morning by organizing all the information we've collected up to now. This view of the bamboo forest is reminding me of Harry all over again. Did you and my dad come out this way too? Sure did. This is where me and Harry faced down a rampaging lair on together. <sighs> Good times. That's wild to think about. You and my dad were right here, huh? Yeah, and it wasn't a cakewalk, let me tell you. Yeah. Huh. Weird. I want the sequence where they do the zooms. You know what else I want? An ad break. Because, guys, we are four hours in the stream. I've technically been live for five hours, but there's two VODs. Lol. So, it's time for me to run an ad. And if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Also, I'm trying to like, instead of looking at my viewfinder, I'm trying to look at my lens. Wait, what? Okay, what? I'm going to actually see what the difference is. So let. So, viewfinder? And then lens. Wait, it's literally like the same angle. Because <laughs> I remember in like, when I first started watching YouTube in like 2010, 
a lot of the vloggers would look at the viewfinder, so they're just looking at themselves. So everybody in the comments would be like, why aren't you looking at us in the lens? But the way my camera is angled, you literally can't tell the angle difference. Okay, that's fine. I'm not self-conscious about that anymore. <clears throat> I think we're almost done with this chapter. Please. I saw these two suspicious-looking guys in the bamboo forest, and when I tried to reason with them, they were having none of it. And Harry couldn't understand me when I tried telling him. These guys suddenly took off running, and that's when Laron attacked us. Did Laron go berserk because of R? Yeah. I didn't know about R at that point, but the vial I found then was a big clue. I see. By the way, what do you mean when you said you tried to reason with them? I wanted to suss them out first by talking to them. Burning straight in didn't seem like the right move. They tried to play dumb, said something about harvesting bamboo shoots. Then they used some R to make Laren go berserk. Huh. What's up, Tim? You haven't forgotten about R, have you? What's bugging you? Well, let me ask again. You said you tried to reason with those two suspicious men. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Guys, I think Harry's inside Pikachu. Pikachu said he tried to reason with two suspicious looking men. But Dad was there too, wasn't he? So how come Pikachu was the one who tried to reason with them? Something about this story is strange, too. I'll clarify some things with Pikachu after I go over what he just said. It's time to begin deducing. Another part of Pikachu's story just now was strange. Let me think this through carefully and figure out what seems strange. Pikachu suddenly spoke to those suspicious men. The suspicious men wouldn't listen to Pikachu, or... The two suspicious men could understand Pikachu. They could understand. Oh! Of course! I'm the only one who can understand what Pikachu says. So how was he able to talk to those suspicious men? Maybe he got confused when he heard Dad talking to those guys, but now he thinks he's the one who talked to them. Pikachu, can I have a word with you? Uh-oh. Uh, have a word? What's this about, Tim? If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you in private. Hmm. In that case, let's chat in there. Bamboo Borough. Charcoal Kiln Hut in the Bamboo Forest. So. What's so important that we need to talk alone? Oh, do you need relationship advice? <laughs> uh, yeah, you wish. Ever since we got to this area, you've been acting really strange. You think so? I guess all those memories rushing back jumbled my brain. Well, let's start unjumbling it then. Sounds good to me. Where should we start? Okay, let's go in chronological order. Are we gonna do a confrontation with just us when two? When my dad came here, do you remember the, the first thing he did? Well, Harry came here to investigate the Berserk Pokemon incident. But the gate to the Bamboo Forest was locked, so I had to borrow the key. After that, we had our fateful encounter. Huh. Don't you find that a little unusual? Was Pikachu like a plant? Like, did they want Harry to find Pikachu that day? Pikachu says he borrowed the key. But Dad actually borrowed the key. You never met my dad before you crossed paths in the bamboo forest, right? Yep, that's right. In that case... Don't you think it's strange? 
I mean, how could you even know about what happened before you met my dad? Huh? Now that you mention it, that Aware. is strange. Maybe I heard from Harry? After that, you helped pinch him in the bamboo forest? Yeah. I was by his side the whole time, protecting him until his injury got better. Tracking down the medicine was tough. But... how is that possible? Pikachu says he stayed by Pancham's side. So how could Pikachu have gone to look for medicine? Pikachu, that doesn't make sense. If you were with Pancham the whole time, you couldn't have gone looking for medicine. Huh? I could have sworn I stayed with him. Maybe I left once to go look around for some medicine? After Pancham recovered, do you remember what happened next? Yeah. I heard a Pokémon roar from somewhere way off in the forest. I saw some Pokémon fleeing. So I figured there was something beyond the boulder. And then what? I climbed the boulder and continued on. And then I followed Harry and climbed the boulder too? Just as I thought. Your memories have gotten all mixed up. Pikachu says he climbed a boulder to follow his dad. So did he climb the same boulder twice? Pikachu. If what you said is correct, wouldn't that mean you climbed the boulder twice? That's what I said, but... Maybe I got mixed up because I saw Harry climb it? As you went deeper into the bamboo forest, what did you find? I came across a suspicious duo with a lair on. And I remember calling out to them. I shouted something like, Excuse me, what are you doing here? They tried to play dumb, and then the Laron suddenly came charging at us. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. Pikachu says he spoke to that suspicious duo. So how was Pikachu able to communicate with them? That suspicious duo. Isn't it strange that they could understand what you were saying? Yeah, I guess you have a point. Maybe Harry said it for me? Hmm. So, the two of you escaped from danger and decided to become partners. That's when you received the hat, right? Yeah. I gave this hat to Pikachu as a gift. And Harry put it on my head? Pikachu says he gave the hat. <clears throat> but my dad's the one who gave Pikachu his hat, not him. Pikachu, you say you got the hat from my dad, but you also gave it to Pikachu? That's right. How strange. I'm starting to remember more. This whole thing started with that car accident. Like a lord! I remember driving my car that day with my partner, Pikachu. Suddenly... The brakes failed and we crashed in a valley. And then I... I got thrown out of the car. Wait. Everything Is started dead? to fade and I blacked out. All I remember is Pikachu desperately crying for help. But, of course, these memories up to that point were Harry's. <laughs> Oh, 
What is the matter? You do not appear to be injured. It is too late for him. He is fading as we speak. You would go that far. I will need your physical form to save him. Even I cannot say for certain what will happen. Knowing this, do you still wish to save him? Very well. However, I have one condition. My cells are being used by some humans for nefarious ends. I want you to retrieve them for me. The fate of this human rests in the strength of your bond with him. Now. Anyway, that's what went down between me and Mewtwo. It sounds to me like Dad and Pikachu had a really strong bond. Yeah. By the way, Tim, don't you want to know what me and Mewtwo talked about after the R incident? Huh? You remember what happened then, too? Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. Crystal clear. After we solved the R case, I went out to that alley to meet up with Mewtwo. Here you are, just like I promised you. Indeed. Thank you. So, that means it's my turn now. Before we proceed, there is something we must discuss. Oh yeah? Don't tell me you can't do it now. Right now, Pikachu's consciousness and your human consciousness coexist within you. It is a miracle that this balance has endured as long as it has. I can only imagine that your trust in one another has made this possible. If I were to forcibly separate the two... You're saying you can't guarantee that I'd survive that? Correct. I would say you have a 50% chance of survival. Hmm. We don't have much time. Have you decided on which one to choose? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'll take my chances with that 50%. So be it. Hey, mm. wait a second! When you say I might not survive, do you mean just me, or Pikachu, too? Your fate and Pikachu's are inextricably intertwined. Then I can't afford to leave this up to chance. Sorry, can you wait before making me human again? Please. I'm sure Tim will figure something out. Besides, I'd like to be here and watch him grow up. I'm sorry, Tim. Can't come home just yet. Very well. However, because you used a move earlier, you are now in a precarious situation. If your human consciousness remains this strong, Pikachu's will disappear. Then what can I do? I will restore the balance between your consciousnesses, and you will forget what you now remember. Amnesia again? Hey, wait! If you do that, how am I supposed to tell Tim I'm... He didn't even wait that time. <laughs> He's like, shut up, mouse. All this time I've been looking for my dad. And all along, you've been right beside me. I'm sorry. I should have realized it sooner. You think that's why we could understand each other? Yeah, that really should have been our biggest clue, huh? After all, you're my own flesh and blood. You've really grown up. 
Tim. You finally found me. Thank you. So, what do I call you now? Should I call you Dad? Hmm? I mean, you're my dad, but you're a Pikachu, too. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if someone overheard you. Pikachu is fine for now. Huh? Just until I'm back to normal. Yeah, sounds good to... I mean, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better get back to normal soon, for everyone's sake. Thanks to my dad's strong bond with Pikachu, Mewtwo was able to save his life. But our work isn't finished just yet. The name of Emma's project was Unitas. The same name as the organization. We need to investigate the Unity Lab next. Damn. The next morning, at Tim's apartment. Today is the last day of Pokemon Friendship Week. Dude, it's only been a week? A variety of events are being held across the city to celebrate. And tonight, Mayor Myers will unveil what he calls a revolutionary device that will make Rhine City proud. Expectations are high for this device, which is meant to bring people and Pokemon closer together. Tonight, huh? Do you think Mayor Myers is really connected to Unitas? Well... There is only one way to find out. We need to go ask the mayor himself. Let's sum up what we know so far, Tim. Sure. An organization went after Mewtwo and stole my, um, Harry's body from it. The same organization has been putting cubes on Pokemon to force them to do their dirty work. Right. And that organization's name is Unitas, which is the same name that Emma, Rachel's mother, used for her final project. The Unitas Project. That shared name, along with the people involved, makes it pretty clear the two are related. As for a lab capable of mass-producing machines as complicated as the cubes, Emma's old facility is the only one around that fits the bill. Isn't it shut down, though? Apparently not. Huh? What do you mean? Word is, some people have been going in and out of that facility recently. Where did you hear that? Huh. <laughs> Tim. Tim, Tim. Do you realize how long I've been living in Rhyme City as a Pokemon? Between all the Pokemon that we met on our cases, I've got eyes and ears just about everywhere. I see. And now that you have my dad's memories back... Yep. I combined that knowledge with the latest info I've gathered. So trust me, that lab is operational. The Abandoned Pokemon Unity Lab. Oh, I bet we'll find all the answers there. Oh, we Don't got forget, some pizza. we also need to get Dad's body back. Right. It's gonna be a long day. Make sure you're all prepped, Tim. Yeah, where is mm -hmm. his body? It's been like years. It's been years! Yeah, let's save. Okay, we will pick this up. A plan that transcends time. Holy moly. Okay. I am really surprised. I did not think this game would take a sci-fi turn. I personally love sci-fi. I was... Okay, I know this game is like cheesy and corny, but now I'm like actually interested. Okay, legit, the moment I heard Harry's voice, I was like, oh no. And then when he was mixing up the memories, I was like, oh no. Harry is Pikachu. Dude, I was right. I knew something was up. I don't know any of the lore for the first game. I might actually go back and play it. Ah, dude, that was so good. I was gonna say, like, the first half of this chapter, boring mid, but the big reveal, holy. Insane. Crazy. Okay, guys, I'm tired. We're gonna wrap up stream. So, as always, we're gonna do calligraphy. 
So, if you use your channel points or donate to the channel, I will write your name. Let's get some music on. And while I'm getting the camera set up, gentle reminder, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. It is youtube.com slash at peace in 17. Dude, I love the music from the Florence game we played the other day. Do 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 Guys, redeem now. It works. We had one person redeem earlier. Do we have anybody else? Here we go. Thank you, Totoro, for redeeming. Do you have anybody else? Anybody else? You got five seconds. <laughs> okay. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, long day. I've been live all day. We did the Mario Wonder Challenge, and then we did Detective Pikachu. Thank you all for watching. I should be live again tomorrow. I'll probably be live in like the afternoon or evening. If not, then Wednesday. Depends on how I feel. I'm honestly very tired. A lot of talking. A lot of yapping with Detective Pikachu. So, guys... Gentle reminder, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels, youtube.com slash at peace and 17 for weekly stream highlights and at peace and 17 clips for daily YouTube shorts and clips. And if you were a real fan, you would follow my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. Vlad Watchers, YouTube. Watch to the end for a surprise. Okay. I'll see you guys when I see you. Tomorrow or Wednesday. Goodbye. <laughs> Dude, that was an insane twist at the end, though. Crazy.
Okay, bye guys.